All right. Good job, you son of a bitch. Right, I'm gonna hit options now. I'm gonna go back now. Hey everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Is my mic on? Yeah. Yeah, it's on. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hope it's going good. Hi. On the last video. On the last video. And so it continues. Hi. Hello. So. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be honest with you. Underhouse has been stressing me the dick out, man. This fucking game, I swear, is I just... Nothing likes to work with me in this game. I I mean, I try so hard. But goddamn, this fucking game, I swear. Is I try. I really do. But I just I don't like to work very much. Too well. It's really hindering the whole enjoyment factor. Right here, I ran into a problem where I couldn't even click on anything. The source engine's just too goddamn dated, man. <sighs> That's the thing. Finally got in this. Yep. <sighs> Black Rose, I use Sony Vegas Pro 13. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm not really enjoying this series. I'm really not. Like, I'm trying really hard, too. But I'm just not. I just, it's so hard to actually enjoy this. Like, does that make me a bad person? Am I a bad person now? Am I a bad boy? And so it continues. <laughs> Better than last time. Oh. And so it continues. Put it about that level. That should be fine. 
Fallen Angel 1992 and Chloe still. Thank you very much. You know, cause like, here's the thing, like, I picked up Bunhill a long time ago, right? Long time ago. Played the prologue, I enjoyed it. Chapter one came out, played that, wasn't feeling it too hard, and I didn't like what I was doing at the time, so I dropped it. I'm honestly, I, I genuinely was contemplating dropping it again tonight. I genuinely was contemplating it. Like, as, as odd as that sounds. But I told the guy at TwitchCon I'd do it, and I don't want to be a fucking asshole, you know? It's like... Uh, fuck. It sucks. Man. If I don't, if I don't, if I drop it again, I'd be fucked, you know? <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry, I've been a little stressed out this evening. How much is left? Apparently there's a ton left. Apparently there's a lot. Like, apparently, this is a really long game. Like, it's really long. Has anyone actually played this game? How long is this game? How long is this? How long is this game? Because... To my knowledge, it's pretty long. Also, Alien and Tennis, thank you very much. Fifteen hours. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cause like, listen. Listen man, I got... I got this thing. I got this thing, which looks... Like, it'd be really fun to do. 17 hours average? 15 if you don't mess up? Oh my god. It's just the source engine is so bad, and the whole time I'm gonna get people being like, I can't see shit. I can't fix that shit. I mean, I got... I got fucking... I got this thing right here. It's looking at me, you know? It's just, it's just looking at me. Like, that seems fun, you know? That seems like it's genuinely a fun time. You know? Or even Dark Souls 3, that could be an actual playthrough. That could be a genuine YouTube playthrough. This, Ratchet and Clank, both of those sound like really good times. Both of them seem very enjoyable to me. But I just can't... I don't know, it's just so hard for me to get into Underhill now. You know? Maybe, maybe I just gotta sleep on it or something, but I don't know, the whole time I'm always gonna have people like hankering on me about not being able to see shit. Oh, I, like, like all of the, all I saw from the last video was just people being like, you missed this, this shit, you missed this shit, you missed all this shit, you, ah, uh, you said you were gonna explore more, I'm disappointed, shit like that, I'm just like, god damn, man, like, it takes out any of the fun. You know, everyone's just like always putting you down and shit. Just like, I'm trying to fix the freaking... I, I, you can't make this brighter. It's the brightest possible it can go. There's no way to fix that. It's so... It's so frustrating. It is so frustrating. I even got to a point in here where I was listening to the goddamn man talk. That the fucking guy in the vents or whatever the fuck. This guy. 
I was listening to him talk. I fucking walked out on him talking because I just didn't care. Like, he, this guy's supposed to be the comedic relief funny guy. Like, everyone loves him and shit. I didn't give a fuck. I walked out on him. I got to that point. <sighs> God damn. <sighs> See, I can't, I can't just be like, I'll come at to it after you know a week or something. I can't do that because in a in a week, Shine's gonna be here for ten days. Well, actually, she's in ten days. She'll be here for ten days. So, I have to have something. I mean, of course, I'm still gonna do streams and stuff like. All that shit, but recording, I need to have something. <sighs> God. It's just like, fuck, <laughs> you know? I'm I'm sorry. I needed to I needed to rant a little bit. Stress this has been stressing me out. I apologize. What about Agario? I mean an Agario playthrough would be probably be pretty great. Ah. <sighs> Fuck the source engine, man. Like, it's not the mod's fault, man. Really? It's not. I can tell a lot of work went into the mod. It's just that it's a mod of the source engine. And the source engine is so aged. It is just so aged. Lost Republic, thank you, man. But that fucking engine is just so aged. Man. Like, I don't even remember me liking it in at least 15 years. Well, okay, 15 years is just too much. When did Half Life 2 come out? Was that 2000? I feel like it was. I don't know. Dude, I would love a fucking hug, dude. Dude, hugs sounds so fucking good, man. Shit. Like, fuck, man, I was just a bear hug and shit, you know what I mean? I thought you were 15, you're right. 2002 was Half Life 2? Okay. So, 15 was too long. 2004? 2003? Okay. Alright, so, it's still been a while, though. Man. I know I at least want to put this video out, but I don't know what I'm going to do, uh, like if I'm going to continue or not, because this video has a lot of actual plot, like there's plot, I meet up with the boys again, you know, there's actual plot development, that's actually happening, it's a thing, and you know, stuff. And I do something so hilarious. Like, check check this out. Check this out. Do you see that? Oh my god. That is so much nicer. Holy Jesus Christ. Hey, Jake. <gasps> here. Story! Holy shit! Well, you're alive. I mean, that's hilarious. Like, that's a hilarious moment, man. That's so goddamn wacky fucking hilarious. Like, goddamn. But it's gonna get overlooked from people complaining about things. It's just so frustrating.
And the series right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, why don't I just twitch the rest of Underhell and upload the segments? <laughs> I mean, technically I could. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Fuck. <sighs> the thing is, I'm already streaming Legend of Dragoon. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And I'm also streaming other things on Tuesdays and Fridays and Saturdays. So what, I would just... I don't even know when I would stream it, just like... when I would normally record it or something? Uh, I mean, you're right, Angel. You are correct. I did give it a fair chance. However, I know... I know people will be upset, and I'm terrible at the whole, like, I don't want to make people upset things, you know? Like, I don't know. All right, all right actually, all right, here's the thing. I don't, I'm not a huge, I don't really care about people making people upset. I, what I care about is disappointing people. That's my biggest fear in what I do is, Disappointing people. And I know people have been gunning this for a long time. And they'll be disappointed if I drop it for the second time. The second time. This isn't the first time I've done this game. Don't want to upset that hardcore underhill community. Exactly. Exactly. My expectations are low anyway. Damn. Ouch. How far am I into the game? I don't fucking know. Apparently it's like 17 fucking hours long. Isn't this technically the third time? Technically, yes. However... This is the second time I'm playing the chapter one. I beat the prologue two times already. Because I played the prologue before chapter one came out. Played that through to fruition. And then when I was re replaying all this, I played prologue again. I mean, I'm getting like regret, kind of like how I got regret for playing Call of Cthulhu. If you guys remember that fucking game. If you don't, I don't blame you, but I went and replayed that because it was one of my earlier things that I dropped because I ran into a technical issue. And I'm having like flashbacks to that moment, you know? Because I, I remember like regretting playing Call of Cthulhu a little bit after I started, but I kept going with it. That piece of shit fucking game. <laughs> God, that was so bad. <sighs> Just be glad I don't have the PewDiePie fan base. Uh, where they go? At least you won't have a large mass of raging 12 year olds. Well, realistically speaking, generally with people with those like huge fan bases and stuff, they're used to people not finishing playthroughs, and they don't really have the attention span to stick with an entire playthrough. Unless it's something like Undertale or some shit. But, 
that's usually why bigger channels don't do like long playthroughs anymore because they know that audience retention rate is shit they know that so they know that there's no profit in that so they're used to bigger let's players dropping longer playthroughs because the retention rate just doesn't make it worth it i personally never gave a fuck about that stuff so that's why i still do long playthroughs like okami and any other fucking playthrough i've done that's long but i just hate the idea of dropping this again it's that it's that last part i'm saying there that the last part of that the last word in that sentence the again part also agsofty thank you man Retention what? It's turning halfway through. All right. Retention. It's retention. It's... All right. Here, I'll show you an example. I'll give you an example of my own stuff if you would like. So, pretty much, with how YouTube playthroughs work, the first video is always the most viewed. And every consecutive video after that is going to get less and less views. So, for example, we'll go to Catherine. You guys remember Catherine? That was a playthrough I did. All right, so part one, one million six hundred ninety thousand nine hundred forty-seven. Also a fucking ridiculous number, might I add. And then the second one, not even half of that. However, that half of that there kept going through pretty much. It still started to dwindle down each way because people dropped off as it went further and further. This one got a bump in because the thumbnail changed. But then it started to drop down again. Let's ignore the Walking Deads. And then, once again, the thumbnail changed. Got more views again. And then it knocked back down. And then the final usually gets a little bit more. Right there. The final got a big boost there. Because they wanted to see the final that I got for the playthrough. So that's why people generally in the bigger the bigger name channels don't do longer playthroughs because the retention rates of them don't work out. That's why they do one shot videos, because they don't need it they don't need commitment to actually have people watch their stuff. They don't need that. You know? It's just a one video thing. So Bam, they get it in there, they don't have to have any prerequisite. Also, 246 dislikes, what bullies, man. How dare they? I'll dislike it too. Apparently, I can't dislike it, never mind. Anyway, but yeah, regardless, that's how that works, in case you were curious. Just, just in case you were curious. I don't even know why I mentioned all that. Uh... No, middle gone. It's fine. No, I understand that. It's fine. It's fine, really. I'm just. It's just that it's just the fact it's the second time through is all. That's all. How about leaving a message at the end of the thing explaining problem calling it a day? No one needs to be disappointed because of that. I mean, yeah, I guess that's a better idea if I was gonna actually cancel it than how we did last time, where I just left it. Do you think video views drop because people stop watching subsequent videos? I always imagine it was because someone who would be joining at say part four instead is instead funneled back to start at part one. Uh it's because they feel overwhelmed that there's too much they have to watch to actually get into the videos themselves. And if they didn't start on the bandwagon at the beginning, then it's like, well, I don't want to watch now. I'm gonna I'm behind. Fuck that shit. And then there's some people who wait until the full thing is done, and then they watch that whole deal. But yeah, generally, if it's just a one-time commitment thing, they'll eat they'll eat their ramen and watch that, and then they'll go on with their lives. There's nothing. There's no like no extra you know story to continue on the next day, because the story's done with that one video that they watched. It's kind of like a movie versus an anime series, you anime nerds. So. That's pretty much how those go. 
a short movie, mind you, but a, a movie nonetheless because it's just a one-time thing. Bleh. So that's why I was genuinely contemplating doing a Dark Souls 3 or a Ratchet and Clank playthrough. I could start the Dark Souls 3 playthrough right now. Or I could start the Ratchet and Clank one on not April 3rd. How much is left? At least 10 hours. Drunk playthrough it? I would that be a lot of booze. A lot of booze. Uh, Crowd thinks you should stop playing the game if you do not enjoy it. If you do not wish to drop it, you could always take a break and focus on another game which you enjoy, like Legend of Dragoon, or also Virtual Hogs. Uh, please do not worry so much. We support your decision no matter what. Well, thank you. I don't think you should go with a mindless idea of always supporting me no matter what my decision is because I could decide maybe, you know what, guys, we should kill our pets. You know, you don't want to just support my decision no matter what because I could decide something like that and that'd be fucked up. So you got to at least have some kind of, like, you know, res resistance about my decisions. Please do not, do not, do not have the, the, don't, don't, don't do that. Okay. <sighs> That's obvious though. No, some, all right. No, here's the deal. That's not obvious because I know there are many, many people in the world who will follow their favorite creators of content, of any kind of content in the world, maybe music or anything, to the fucking grave. No matter how depraved of an act they do, no matter how fucked up they are as a person, their fans, there's some of their like crazy fans will still follow them regardless of anything. And that's fucked. Because there are some really twisted sons of bitches out there. We're talented, but then they did some really shitty, fucked up stuff, and their viewers are just like, "What? That's is fine. It's, it's not. It's fine." Like, there's that fucking guy. I don't know who the fuck it was, but he did some things with. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go into graphic details, but an infant was involved, and there's still people out there who are fucking okay with him and shit. It's like, are you fucking serious? <sighs> That's bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm on a I'm on a ranty night. I apologize. Apologies. <sighs> was it Jared Leto? I don't think it was Jared Leto, was it? I forget his name. Lost Prophets, yeah. It was it was Lost Prophets. That guy. That was fuck. That was fucked, man. Yeah, so people who are into that sh fucking guy, even after that crap. That was even part. Of, I don't even need to bring that up. I apologize. I was on a live stream fails, by the way, on on Reddit. Just so you know, I I was on there today. It's pretty neat. It was a it was a good one though. It wasn't like a negative thing at least. So that was fun. I enjoyed that. It was cool. Just thought I'd share. Why? Oh, here I'll show you. Uh right here. Craig gets denied uh by Windows ten in the middle of an upper JRPG scene. That thing right here. Uh, here I'll just boop. Oh my god! Oh, dude! You got wings! What on earth is a schedule? Fuck! That is not the time for this! No! This is not the time! No! Get out of here! It's gone! Oh my god. No. 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 What's happened? No. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck you, Windows 10! You are the worst piece of shit! Oh my fucking god! God damn it! I fucking hate 
hate Windows 10 so goddamn much. Holy fucking shit, dude. Yep. So I was on live stream fails. I uh, I got I got thumbs up. I got thumbs up. That was pretty good, man. I got a second. Did did I get more? Nope. All right. Got yeah, mail for some reason then. Yeah, dog. So that was fun. Also, totally random. But I don't have a mouse lag anymore. You know how I used to have that mouse randomly lag and stuff? Uh, it hasn't lagged at all since you guys told me about the precision mouse thing. So thank you. I appreciate that, whoever mentioned that to me before. It uh, works just fine these days. Feels good, man. Also, my Windows 10 is fully upgraded, so that's good. Yeah. It's cool. <sighs> On a separate note, I was just watching Lumberjack competitions on YouTube. They're amazing. They are, actually. I've seen a few of them before. They're pretty neat stuff. So, I guess we should get to editing this. So, yeah, we'll do that. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, get right to it, then. Here, uh, here we go. Okay. Well, um, that went better than last time. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take you there. So, um, I learned a thing or two about life. I learned that I, uh, I'm bad. Uh, secondly, I learned that I've been missing a lot of things. Thirdly, I learned that kicking is a momentum-based sort of thing. So, I can totally fuck a brother up, given the right momentum. So, I would like to perform a kick, if you'd be so kind as to give me a ball. Anyone? There we go! Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. Okay. Definitely didn't work out. As well as I was being told it was. Hi. Okay. Well. Uh. Oh, you did call zero. Thanks, man. Alright. Okay. I was out of stamina. You know what? This is a terrible start. There. We. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well. I can't see shit there, but don't worry, the comments will let me know. This is, uh... This is some bullshit, I gotta say. I gotta say it here and now. This is some bullshit. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be on my best behavior, you know? Because zombies need a proper guidance. And I can't see shit. So if anyone gives me sh Oh yeah, I actually rant about this in the playthrough. Me shit about being like, I can't see damn thing. You shut your mouth. I can't see shit either. I've got, look at this. Look at this son of a bitch. Look at this son of a bitch. Bam. This is on the brightest setting goddamn possible. You gonna give me shit, I will. Right up in you. Don't even. Don't even. Goddamn. You can see, I was a little bit grumpy when I was recording this. Just a little bit. Whew! Sorry, I needed to get that out. I was a little, a little stressed out a little bit there. I'm so sorry, you shouldn't see- Is editing the toughest part or is it the game itself? This fucking game is what's tough. <laughs> see me like that. Editing is just time consuming. That's about it. I was fucked up, I apologize. I have zombies to kill. I, uh, I'm sorry. That was. F I'm a terrible person. Alright, so. Now, I'm gonna go around. And also, I can't forget, down there is where my. Oh. Well, down there is where my thingy is. My thingy, I. You should fake your own death to get out of playing more under hell. Just go into witness. <laughs> I mean, big blowy up a gun. 
How the fuck is this dead? I'm not supposed to use my computer after midnight because my therapist told my parents that technology at night is bad for my mental health, but here I am. Um... I'm no doctor or therapist, but your therapist sounds like bullshit. Then again, I don't know your actual mental state, so it could be wrong. However, yeah, that therapist sounds pretty dumb. Dead. Can I pick it up? No. You broken. Maybe I gotta jump it. I'm gonna play Quantum Break. If it's good on the PC, there's been some really bad Windows 10 PC ports. I think I do. This ain't gonna end well. I'll tell you that much. Okay, never mind. It ended pretty goddamn well. There we go. Good deal. Awesome. It's reopened. Okay. Sure. No problem. I'm gonna go pick up meatless snow. That makes no goddamn sense. But thank you very much, man. My toy now. The thing that you should host a talk show later in life. I, people usually go into hosts and talk shows or podcasts when their entire careers just kind of like falls flat and they don't really have anywhere else to go, so that's like a last resort sort of dealio. I'll get there eventually. That, you know, might, may or may not have killed me at one point in time in a, in a dream sequence. It wasn't actually really happening. Oh, we got, we got, I hear, I think I hear friends. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, oh, hey. No, 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 no. I'm not saying, all right, listen here, listen here. I'm talking about people like that goddamn dude who was on fucking tech TV with the white hair. I'm talking about anyone else who used to be on television that's not on television anymore who has a fucking podcast nowadays. That's who I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not talking about YouTubers and shit. I don't care, man. People like YouTubers know this all the time. But there's plenty of guys out there. Like, look at fucking, um, Attack of the Show people. They have a fucking Twitch podcast, and no one goddamn watches that shit. Exactly, namely. You get me, man. Shit. But yeah, just so you know. Looking at you, Howard Stern. <laughs> well, he's always had, like, the radio show spiel, so. Yeah, oh, hey. Yo, guys. How are you? You're still coming? Okay. You mean like Steve Harvey? Is that the same Steve Harvey I'm thinking about? I hear that guy's a super fucking asshole. Like, super asshole, you know? Hmm. Well, yeah. Me too, infamous Kyo. You're still coming? Okay. Attack of the show is a Twitch? Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah, and hi yeah. Momentum kick! Okay, okay, okay. Embarrassing. There we go. Well, let's, uh, not let that happen again. Sometimes you just run out of stamina and you just embarrass yourself in front of all your friends and family. Oh. Hey, yeah. There you go. Good. Good deal. Let's go ahead and spin. Welcome to the last stream of Cry Rants and Talk Shit. I love this so much. I do, I do talk some shit sometimes. I will agree. I do throw some shade unnecessarily. So, this is the palm tree of the Twitch where we talk shit for no reason. And I'm not in a group environment. So, all of my attention is just devoted to talking shit. Well, I am a little bit crabby too, so that's gonna also help. Spin this thing here. You know, I'm uh, kind of running low on food almost. Why is Cry editing a black screen? You just got me. You got me, man. I got him. I'm gonna write a blog post about you right now, you cis fucking scum. Here we go. Dickhole, anonymous, piece, shitbird. Hope he dies literally. Hashtag fuck men. Food almost. I should probably eat some snacks. That sounds pretty good. Yep, I'm gonna have a chocolate bar and another one. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, that should be fine. Go ahead and use this glow stick. Might help out. Maybe. 
you know, I don't know. Hmm. What is this about? Any masturbation stories cry? I had one where I stroked it for so long and being with, uh, one with eczema, I ended up peeling off a bit of my skin on my wiener. Damn, son. Are your, is your dick okay? I'm so sorry. Damn. I am so sorry. I mean, honestly, the worst thing ever that ever happened to me involving that was when I was younger. I downloaded this hentai game. I don't know where I got it from, but it was really shitty. And I downloaded this hentai game, and my door was unlocked. And my sister came into my room, but it was a full screen hentai game. And I couldn't minimize it or anything, so I was trying to, like, block the screen with my body and play it off cool. And I couldn't. And that was weird. And then I tried to explain to my sister that, Yeah, my friend, he made the game, he wanted me to beta test it, you know? <laughs> it's whatever, and she just kept being like, uh-huh. I'm like, ah, oh. That was cool. It was some weird thing involving, like, maids and shit. It was... I, I must have been, like... 13, 14. Damn. Lock your doors, everybody. Izzy sent Poppy. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't really do too much, but... Same sister loves me? Yes. We have a very close relationship. Hey. Oh. Hey. No, 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 she didn't catch me jerking out. You know, you're in the, pr like, the pre-process of, like... You know, you're kind of like, you're, you're kind of into it. It's like, man, this is, man, I should do it, but not yet, dude. I'll wait a little bit while I keep playing and see where this story goes with quotation marks. So it wasn't there just yet, but it was definitely a little awkward. Cool. Oh, that didn't work out at all. Oh my gosh. That was great. That was really good. It was just hentai and chill, exactly. I got caught in the foreplay. Yes. What's my opinion on Premiere Pro CS6? I have none, to be honest. I have no experience with Premiere. I know everyone really likes Premiere. I know some people swear by it, but I'm just, I've been using Vegas for nine years, so switching over is really tough for me. Hey. Uh, hey -ya. Oh, God. It's okay, my brother walked in on me using the regular electronic massager. You know what, on the floor, I left my door wide open. You left your door wide open? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You... You closed the door, man! Man, what the fuck? Shit! Also, PG Ross, I'm not too sure, actually. I believe, they, I mean, maybe? It's just, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey. I was in the very back of my house. I was still in middle school. Well, you fucked up. I'm glad you probably hopefully learned a lesson by now. You run away. I'm reloading. But you run away. Okay. Well, somehow this is working out. Somehow. Uh, okay. Good night, Madness Malice. I apparently am bad. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh. What's your porn preference? All right, listen here, man. I like them thick, man. I like them thick booty bitches. Some good shit. Okay. 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 I. Well, there goes half my armor. Well, all my. Armor. My mom went walks, uh, once walked in on me jacking and despite my managing to cover it up in time, she walked over and sat next to me, put her hand on my shoulder and said, It's okay to touch yourself. Well, that's kind of weird. Sorry? Well, all my armor, pretty much. That's, uh... That's a little disappointing, considering I was doing so decently kind of alright. Thanks. Thanks, uh, guy. My, uh, my little kicks didn't feel like kicking it too hard there, I guess. And I don't want to use this. Good angel, by the way. I feel like dropping it because I mean it's fragile. Man, you just can't win in under hell. You just can't win. It's like you're playing the lottery, but you didn't actually. Any Overwatch for rendering tonight? I don't know what we're doing. Rendering. 
I I don't I don't know. I have no idea. Actually, buy tickets so you don't even get a chance to spin the wheel. Oh well. Time to go back up the ladder. Oh, okay. This is a thing. And I go ahead and reload. Uh huh. Okay. I can't really see ya. Okay. Well, this isn't going out the best. Uh, keep on moving, I suppose. Many crimes has cried jerked it to me. Just once. I'll just shoot you and then you guys. Oh dear. Oh me. Go me. I'm doing I'm doing wonderful. You know, I have an alt attack. I I yeah, I do. I I do have one of those. Oh, hey, you you flanked me. That's good. I think yep, hi. There. There. Just just there. There. We we took care of that that there. Where's my gun? Oh hey. I walked in on my friend being in the living room while staring at the victory screen on Mario Kart all because he was playing as Peach and he swore he saw an upskirt on her to get him going. I swear to God, you all are a bunch of depraved, depraved animals. Every single one of you here. Holy shit. Is this the kind of shit we have fucking brought? Oh, hey. Oh, I'm down here. I see. So, uh, no, but really, where, um, where's my gun? I kind of dropped it in the, the rush of the, the chase, the thrill of the hunt. I found it again. Good. It's okay, I got no Skittles. I, I, I accept your apology. Well, I'm... Alex Sin, me and Russ uh, played it. Well, Russ played it. I watched him play it. It was, it was all right. I'm coming. Uh, then uh, we can get out of here. Maybe. I hope. I'm gonna reload this gun, and we're gonna go. Yep. Uh, which, uh, which, which, which one do you want? You want this one? Well done. I have plenty of ammo that I never got to actually get. So I want to make sure I'm totally okay. Like there, and then that thing is a thing, but I don't want it so much. This helmet. These things. Good. Alright, see? This is what you gotta do in Underhill. You look around for things, and then when you miss one thing, people say, Hey, piece of shit, listen. You're a piece of shit, how dare you? I'm like, oh. Okay. I'm just Jake Hockfield trying to get by. In, your in terms of playing Overwatch, which style of play do you personally prefer? And are you a defensive or defensive player? By the way, by style I mean tank, healer, etc. Ah, uh, I like crowd control, so that's why May is always my girl go-to. Tanks are always fun, though. Also, getting up in there, I'm more of an offensive person. Also, it's just really fun stalling that goddamn card on defensive as May, though. Just running around using my ice and all that stuff. That's it's good time. And you're bringing me down like this? What the what the fuck? What the fuck? No one even watches that guy. Anymore. That's fine. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go, and we'll go. Here. Is there one more? I wonder how many stories of these are true, and just how many are made to miss it with cry. I mean, like, yeah, some could be fabricated. You never know. But I mean. Uh, odds are at least one of these stories is true. Is there one more? No. There. I can see. It's a fucking miracle. Do you see that? Oh my god. That is so much nicer. Holy Jesus Christ. Hey Jake! <gasps> over here! Story! Holy shit! Well, you're alive, and you restarted the gener- Well, you're alive, and you- 
you restarted the generator. And you restarted the generator. I'm guessing you had to turn everything off in order to reboot it. Yeah, thanks for that. We were stuck in there during the whole time. Wow. You took care of all these motherfuckers. I can't stop the video there. I just I can't. Well, well, you're alive. And you restarted the generator. I'm guessing you had to turn everything off in order to reboot it. Yeah. Thanks for that. We were stuck in there during the whole time. Wow. You took care of all these motherfuckers? By yourself? Jesus, man. We should have sent you here alone. Can't believe you made me swim through all that shit for nothing. It seems to be running stable. The radio got busted in the water, so there's no way to contact the other. I'm pretty sure they got the message. I'm sure they did. Although I do wonder if turning off all the power was a good idea. I'm aware you had no choice, but the entire base was out of power during the rebooting sequence. Let's hope nothing bad happened up there. Everyone's dead now, and I don't give a damn. Let's go, team. I'll press the button since I do everything around here. Friends. I don't think I'm going to be able to splice this one with Voodoo Magic. Considering that. But we'll see. Yeah, it's too jarring. It's the best I could do. That's oh, because the light flickers, actually. Over oh, the walls are the problem I'm having here. Yeah, it's too jarring because the walls. Ah, well. Fade in, fade out, maybe? Ah, fuck it. Just leave it. Just leave it. I can see Jun editing Cry's videos. Nah, man. That's not the same. That's not the same. Do you like the cranberries? Dude, zombie, zombie, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? I'm impressed. Thanks. Yeah. Since you were nicely waiting for us in there, why didn't you make me some goddamn coffee? I sure could use some coffee right now. Damn, when credit isn't perfect, damn. I mean,. To be fair, I didn't have the frames for it. It's just a jarring transition because it's loading a whole different scene. And the walls are already moving, so there's no way to actually do it without the loading screen. Even then, from, from the loading screen going into this, there's just... It's, it's just impossible. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna go in there? So that's the lift that wasn't working earlier. Fuck! Listening. No oh, wait, hang on. I do something hilarious. Check this out. Situations. Just like I always manage to get myself. This is out. hilarious. Get ready. Problem is, Junior always gets involved in my shit. He really can't deal with it. That's right. He told me about that. How he follows you everywhere like a little puppy. Yeah. I delete Rangers Regiment after. He I know. Focus when he's around. It's always been like that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. 
Yeah. Same here. What are we doing? You can tell I'm progressive again more and more just uninterested as it goes on. It's, it's great. Man. Poor Malcolm. I swear, if I ever catch the son of a bitch that got it, I'm gonna stick my gun so far up his ass that that bullet would just come straight out his mouth when I shoot. And I'd pay to see that. Now let's get moving. What the hell? Oh shit. Go left. Um, why is that there now? Um, guys. Clear. 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 What the hell is that chopper doing here? I don't know, but we're gonna take it. Oh, really? Are you looking forward to crashing it on the fucking ceiling? Even if the gate was opened, Terry is the only one who can pilot a helicopter. Yeah, I know, but that's not my concern right now. My concern is who brought it down here and where are they? We have to let the others know. What the fuck? Take point. There's some sketchy shit going on, boys. Come on. I'll take him on. Bring it. Huh? 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 Alright, we're good. We're good. Clear. Clear. Who the hell opened? I think I know who. Come on. We gotta go. Hold on. I gotta sign in. We gotta make sure they know. Okay, get this door open. You got it. Let's get moving. Embrace. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, uh, yeah, let's get moving. Embrace. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Embrace. I do need to stay with them. I'm, I, I miss having company. Oh, very sad. What do you see? It's empty. Everyone's gone. It's a loading screen. Everyone's gone. God, that screen tear is just so gross. This one's not gonna work because right when it transitions, he's in another animation. Wow, there's even a screen tear on the loading screen. Jesus Christ. See the animations changed there. There's no way to make this work either. Even changes the lighting on that. Everyone's gone. Do you, do you know where? Okay. Oh, well, that's a problem. Uh, hello? Friends? Yo, Cry. I recently tried to record using OBS as opposed to Bandcam. It only picked up the onboard audio. And I can't figure out how to get my thing to record my mic. Can I use you as a substitute for Google? Clad Assassin, I have one very important thing to show you about good old OBS. My good friend, O, B, S, E, one of the leading providers of uh, stuff, and I will show you, my good friend, Habam. All right, so listen here, O, B, S. When you got the O B S studio. It is right there is the mic. You just gotta just fucking, just fucking set the mic up. Just 
Make make sure you gotta use your mic. And you just make sure it's unmuted. Bam! Bam! Look at that. This is my mic. 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 Mic check, 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 check it out. Oh. B. I'm done with you. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Friends? Oh. Now, are you ready for a story? Because we have eight minutes of uninterrupted story. Almost nine minutes. Shit. Don't shoot, it's us. Brian, what is he? Why is I don't mean to offend, but wouldn't it hurt the devs less if you just dropped it instead of being uninterested to play it through? I have no idea what it's like from your perspective, so I'm sorry if I've said something wrong. I didn't say anything wrong, that's fine. I mean, realistically speaking, you're probably right. So, this is probably gonna be my last one here, and I'm probably gonna have to record a spiel at the end of it. And I'm probably gonna have people being like, this is bullshit. I'm like, yeah, you right. But it's probably gonna be it, man. I don't know, man, I just, I can't get it, I can't do it, I just can't. I can't do it. Why are you shooting at us? Who's shooting? You're shooting, I'm not shooting, you started shooting. We just got here, Ben. We did not start shooting at you. What? Then who did? Probably those piles of meat lying here on the floor. This is bullshit. How, how could you say it's bullshit? Man, see, I was right. Floor? What? What happened? Yo, can we come out of cover without getting shot now? My legs are getting tired here. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just come, just come out. Close without saving, upload a loop GIF with stolen music instead. Damn, that's a good call. Heck, what happened to those guys? Junior? What the? Talk to me, Terry. He's all right. No organs were hit. The bullet went in and out. He'll be fine. Oh, I see how blurry. Why not just stream and have friends with you? No, that sounds like a terrible idea. That would be the morphine. Just try and get some rest. What the fuck happened, man? I went down there on my own. You know, not telling you so you wouldn't follow me. This happens? What, what the fuck did I do wrong, man? It's okay, Brian. It's gonna be okay. Hey, what the fuck happened to those guys, goddammit? What did I miss? Oh, look at this cool guy. Takeo? I thought you were dead. Where the hell were you? Takeo, tell us what happened. I went to investigate a noise, got in trouble, dealt with it, and when I came back, you were gone. All right, all right. So what was the noise you heard? A very angry Russian with a very big knife. What? That's Igor. Who? He's the butcher from the North Wing, Victor's brother. We kept them apart because they fought all the time. Even got some guards injured. It worked with folklore because that we, we had a reason to have people there because they were the voices for the actual characters in the game. It wouldn't work in this game because I'm just playing this game. There's no voicing to, do, to be done. That, that doesn't make sense. Did once. We couldn't stop them, so Ito showed up and smashed his face on the table. Cracked open his skull. Do you mean Masahiro? Yeah, Commander Ito. When he did that, when Victor saw his big brother like that, something snapped. He became docile as a kitten. And he never got into trouble again. As for Igor, he didn't die. But they had to install a metal plate into his head. His skull was fractured. My guys! Come over here a second. What is it, Ben? Well, I don't know how I did it, but somehow I've managed to plug myself into the security network. It's as easy as pie, really. Uh, I've got access to most of the cameras here, uh, some useless logs, and some very interesting security reports. Some things we didn't even have any idea about. Oh, wow. Like what? Well, did you guys ever wonder how the automatic doors on the upper floors work? <laughs> you won't believe it. With our shoes. What? That's right. In everyone's shoes, there's a chip. When you press the button, the automatic doors detect the chip and opens the door depending on your security clearance. All right, and if there's no chip, well, the door doesn't open. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but the point is that nobody's supposed to know this. You just wear your uniform and the door just magically opens to you. That explains a lot of things, actually. I even found all of our files and... I think also what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to upload my save, actually. So people can download the save and they could just play from where I left off if they wanted to actually see what the hell goes on. I think that's what I'll do. Wait, there is more. 
What is this? Code red. Oh no. What does it mean, Terry? Code red. Uh, not again. What do you mean? So I mean the game's free and you just need the source engine which is also free I believe. So Yeah. I've been working for this company for 12 years. This isn't the only facility they have. It's last under hell video. Yes. Hey, Crow, I wanted to ask since you uh exist in the internet, do you ever think about having a robot that will be in your place that and can control it through VR? But the robot head is your mascot head or what? I... What? 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 Like at a convention or something? We were gonna do something similar to that. Uh, for TwitchCon, but... We, there's apparently issues. There was another one. What do you mean, another one? Another place like this? Yeah. I used to work at both places. Spent a week there, a week here. Training per- Crap, my laptop is gonna be in the shop for three weeks. How should I cope? Why is it gonna be in the shop for three weeks? Get a better shop. Personnel, updating security measures. So uh, Cry, you're about one-fifth of the way with the plot. If you are interested in any more, you're not gonna enjoy the rest. Uh, if you are interested in any more, you're not going to enjoy the rest. Especially since the game finally kicks off at the fourth, fifth mark. God damn, that's so far away. God damn it. Now updating security measures, signing new contracts and checking everything. I was one of the few allowed to go to the surface. Even then, I was rather restrained from one entrance to the other. Elikan's not. I don't, I don't need any help. Thank you very much, though. But that's part of the job. Everything was fine. You first heard me at TwitchCon. Oh, shit. Hope we weren't terrible. Until Code Red. So, what is Code Red? It's a direct order to everyone above security clearance three to to disable everyone below that security clearance. Disable? What the fuck? Oh my god, he's right. Okay, according to this, inmates have different clearance levels. Okay, the code red specifies to disable every low-level inmate, every low-level scientist, every low-level security guard. That's us. What the? Why was the code red given at the other facility? There was this strange infection. People started displaying necrosis and were literally rotting alive. It was contagious and spread fast, really fast. The first way they found to stop the infection was to kill the carriers. And so they did, hoping the scientists would find a solution quickly. But days passed. Well, thank you very much, Caboose. I appreciate that, man. Weeks and still no cure. Everyone was confused who was infected and who wasn't. A regular cough and they'd put you down until everyone became paranoid started killing each other it was a massacre a war zone old cry would still be interested old cry did the exact same thing among the chaos some of the personnel managed to escape the complex the local security couldn't contain the situation. That's when they called Ito. He called some friends and other PMCs, brought an entire army, and started cleaning in the good old shoot first, ask later fashion. The scientists had at least made progress on one thing. They discovered that some people were immune, and since there was no easy way of finding out who was infected and who was Alright, so going by how things have been going, I play the game and then I stop it. And then I pick it up after a year or two. So, realistically speaking, I pick it up after a year or two and I do about an hour, two hours more than I had before. Yeah, I do about two hours more. So, in another two years, I'll pick this up and I'll do another two hours of the game. And I'd say by the time... 2024 hits. I should be able to beat the game. Probably. It wasn't. Ito thought it would be a good idea to start gassing people with the virus so that they could study the survivors and make a cure, using them as lab rats. Ito had his claws in everything. He was cleaning the place, looking for a cure, and tracking down runaways far away from the complex, capturing or shooting them on sight. 
It was big. Very big. The media was all over it. Everyone was afraid. A terrorist attack, they said. Hostage takers spreading chaos. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. And you survived that? I was above level three. There was nothing I could do except keep my gas mask on, follow my orders. I really need to get a vibe already. A vibe. Holy shit. I don't <laughs> Vive. <laughs> I saw I saw Chloe draws in chat, so I had the the letter B in my mind. So I said vibe. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Anyway, I, I really want to get a vibe because that sounds like it would make everything a lot more interesting. Try not to get shot by a paranoid squad mate. So it's the same virus? Well, I don't know. Oh, fuck. It looks like it. I mean, back then we burned all the bodies as soon as they died from the infection. There's no way of knowing what would happen after they died. You said Ito was looking for a cure. Did he find one? Yeah, he found a cure. His cure was to wipe everyone out. Pretty much the entire infected personnel. They didn't find an antidote, but they found- No, this won't be on live stream fails. If this goes on live stream fails, you're gonna have the comments filled with fake laugh, forced laugh, God, it was on purpose, it was fake. Found a way to identify infected people. I just tested everyone and killed all the positives. So with that code red in effect, we have those things and the soldiers from the base against us? Well, technically, those things are not with the soldiers either. Which means that if we just stay here, they'll kill each other. So what? What about getting out of here? The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands. But the opportunity of defeat... Just treat a vibe like so did it. I actually did, and they said they would hook me up in about mid-April. That's kind of neat. Defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. The art of war. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Beta suit uh, says, Hi, Cry. I totally understand why you would drop this. I get it. Question though, was there a similar reason why you dropped Metro 2033 or haven't touched Metro Last Light back in the day? I just always assumed, which is a bad habit I know, that a game that is as focused on immersion like the Metro games would be right up your alley is all. Beta suit, actually that is a very good question, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. So I would like to inform you that I suck at video games and I genuinely, I spent two hours at whatever part I left off on, on Metro 2033. Just trying to get through, and I couldn't. I I just couldn't beat it. I, like I, it just it was too hard for me, and it it sapped all my desire to play it at all, really. So, yeah, <sighs> I'm bad. I'm I'm not good enough to play Metro. I guess. So, the art of war. What about Skyrim? Skyrim became just too long. War. Too well, too long and too open. Too open-ended, you know? Exactly. And I knew if I kept up with it, it would have gone on for over 100 videos. We might as well establish an HQ here. We have food, weapons, equipment, and more importantly, we have eyes, thanks to Ben and the network. We should stay on this level, observe the situation around, and establish a strategy to effectively escape, and only move when we're ready. Whoa, hey, look! What about Dandelion, huh? Actually, funny story. Dodger and I fucking hate the cat that we're on, so we're thinking about completely dropping that cat and doing another one. Or bunny, I don't know. But yeah, we're thinking of just not even bothering with them. Where is that? They're on this floor, the northeast wing. Well, that's good here. Thank you, Beta. Twin. We can't help them. We need to clean this place and fortify the entrances. Make a barricade we can easily lift from the inside and ration our supplies. If we go out now and prepared with a wounded man, we won't make it far. He's right. Matthew and Takeo, why don't you clean the place and work on the barricade? I'll take care of those supplies. And yes, the ginger one. I don't know. He's just not interesting. It's not enjoyable. The other ones are fun. This one, just kind of like, eh. Whatever. Ben, you keep watching the monitors and tell us if you see anything. Brian, Jake, you're going to get those people and bring them here. I ain't leaving my brother right now. Jake can take care of himself. 
He did everything on his own down there. So you're gonna let him go out there alone? Any other free games like this one that we could play? Uh, yeah, another source mod, uh, Nightmare House 2 was a really good source mod that I played a long time ago. Cry of Fear was a really good uh, Half-Life source mod, not like the Half-Life 2 source engine, but the original Half-Life source, I believe it was called. Or just Half-Life engine, I don't fucking know. Just the original engine. Uh, Cry of Fear was a super good one. Takeo was out there for over two hours on his own. And he's still in one piece. I am Caboose. Kangao's a very talented guy. I know he's gonna put in some magic in there. I met an old man. Actually, if you didn't know, he made a bird story and I convinced him to put a blender into the game just because I liked blenders at the time. Yep. He helped me find my way back here through the vents. That old fool's still alive and kicking, huh? Alright, alright. Jake, you scout ahead and try and find where those survivors are. Bring them back here. If you need ammo or supplies, or if you need to rest, just come back here and we'll let you in. If you find anyone else on your way, just bring them back here. Alright? I'm just gonna keep digging into these servers, see what I can find about this place that might help us. Well, thank you, Scent. Also, I had to deal with someone who's homesick. I genuinely, I don't know. I haven't had that uh, problem before. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Oh, okay. Well, I just want you guys to know that Interested Scoot, I recommend Force Showdown. That shit's genuinely really fun. That I found. I think I've just said genuinely a lot in the past minute. I'm genuinely sorry. I found this, and I'm gonna read this personal file. You hold that pose. Terrence Mason. Chief of Security, September 3rd, 2013. On level one, additional security measures have been added to the medical bay. Too many rumors of unauthorized personnel stealing drugs to sell to the inmates. I'm not sure if the rumors are true, but these additional keycard readers for every access door to the medical uh, med Yeah, I keep fucking that up. But these additional keycard readers for every access door at the medical bay should at least provide us with an are true but these additional keycard readers for every access to our at the medical base should at least ever play half-life 1 on your channel and if you haven't would you consider playing black mesa remastered half-life 1 i want to be honest i didn't really care a lot about the half-life series i know it's fucked up. I played a lot of Half-Life 1. It was okay. Played a lot of Half-Life 2. It was okay. But I don't really like it that much. I'm sorry. Sorry. Gets in or out. This should narrow down the list of potential suspects for these alleged thefts. In the meantime, I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. At the time of them coming out, they were the shit. Like, when Half-Life came out, that was awesome. When Half-Life 2 came out, that was awesome. But it's 2016. It's been a long time. They haven't really aged well. Oh, look at that. You're like holding it up like a little sign. You're like someone who wants change. Alright, well, that happened. Uh, so, I can apparently talk to you guys, huh? Uh, yep. Uh, Portal, Portal was good. Portal 2 was amazing. I will say that. Portal 1 was just pretty good. But Portal 2 was really good. Uh, yeah. You're still here? Okay, you're treating me like a piece of shit, even though I've been doing all your goddamn work. Appreciate that help there, buddy. What is it? Don't really know. I'm just trying to, like, you know, bond with people. It's been a long time since I've had friends. Hmm. Uh, can I have a sleep? Can I rest? You said you were talking about supplies and stuff. What do you think is your longest series? I believe it was Okami, but I might be wrong. 
I think it was Okami. It was either Okami or Corpse Party, but I think it was Okami. Oh, that's helpful. Can I have some more, please? No? No? Yeah, I guess I'll start on my Happy Wheels series. Okay. Can I... Yeah, you don't need that. You were just shot. It's not a big deal. Move over. Give me some of that. Okay. Well. Huh. Go ahead and write. That. See, I was actually thinking about that earlier when I was contemplating quitting Under Hell. I was thinking about it. Because I know how long this game is going to be. However, Okami never made me feel this way. Okami never gave me this feeling of just like, uh, every time I went to go record it, you know? I've had this feeling of, uh, for the past week of going to record this game. It's just... The constant negativity in the comment section because of how the issues with the lighting are, which I can't fix apparently, and with how I'm always seeing these fucking scan lines which or screen tearing which doesn't actually matter that much and with apparently how I'm missing every fucking thing on the goddamn planet and people are always going to be pointing that out constantly because you got fucking professional utter hell players in the goddamn comment section and I never had that feeling with Okami everything felt fucking happy and jolly and happy and shit you know so I'm feeling like I want to just go ahead and just fucking play Ratchet and Clank as dumb as that sounds Playing goddamn Ratchet and Clank sounds amazing. Because that's a happy-go-lucky jolly fucking game, you know? I've never actually played it before, and this is the reimagining of the first game. It's a completely new one. It's not just a remaster, it's just a reimagining of it. So the new one looks fucking awesome. I played it for about five minutes before recording Underhell. It was like night and day. I was like, holy fuck, you know? I know fuck all about Ratchet and Clank. I played Jack. I was a Jack guy. So I don't have any experience with Ratchet and Clank. But it looks like something I would be totally down for. Like, 100%. So, I mean... I just never had this feeling with Okami. And I feel like Ratchet and Clank would give me the similar feeling that Okami gave me. Go ahead and write that up there and uh, grab these. I choose poorly? Man, seriously? Ratchet and Clank's no good? Fuck. Oh, you mean, or, or, or do you mean with the Jack thing? Oh, I think that's what you meant with the Jack thing. Okay. Oh, looks like this one's a little locked, and there is a key in there. Huh. Isn't that just something? Can, uh, can you open? Um, no? Okay. Well, the, the option was there for a second, and then they took it away from me pretty quickly. Sometimes I have nightmares about this place. I'm a prisoner down here. Yeah, the lighting has been better, Crystal, but there still was plenty of instances in uh, yesterday's video where it was just too dark because the source engine sucks. You need to unlock the Rhino. It is your weapon. What the fuck is that? Is that a Ratchet and Clank thing? Also, Google, you've been around for a long time. I just wanted to point that out, in case you forgot. But you know, sometimes I feel like, like I am a prisoner down here. Hey, I am as well, actually. So, I mean, hey, we got something in common, pal. Except now I have a gun, so there's that. Ooh, hey. Bullets. Good. Good, good, good. I definitely could use some of those and some of these. The Rhino is the gun equivalent of a Sura. Damn. Okay. How do you feel about a Sura's Wrath? It's my favorite LP of you, to be honest. I liked it. I didn't like the technical issues I had with it, though. With Which is exactly what this is right here. It's screen tearing. It's... It was kind of... Kind of the thing. But... That's just because the Sura's Wrath wasn't well optimized for the PlayStation 3. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, appreciate it. And you, you beautiful piece of I feel you, Google man. It's a shit. I had the thing for you the whole time. And you know why I didn't think I did? Well, I lost everything when I fell down from the sewers. And I was like, I've lost everything. And I was like, oh, okay, so I must have lost that too.
Turns out I didn't though, so. Well, I missed out on some fun, I guess. No fun for me. No fun allowed, apparently. Gosh darn, isn't that just a bitch? Isn't that just a bitch? Oh, apparently the Rhino was just a really strong rocket launcher in Match and Clank. I see. Thank you. Did you enjoy Beyond Two Souls? I did until the ending. Yeah. So, might as well just roam the vents. Hey. Hey. Oh, well, hello there, my bald friend. <laughs> I was actually looking for you. Uh, look what I found. An entire box of chocolate bars. I can spare a few if you want. But don't take everything. Leave a few for me and Turdy. Oh yeah, and you're welcome for the door. Don't mention it. Thanks, man. Uh, what I can't wait for is to watch you play more Legend of Dragoon. I have it somewhere, but I never finished it. Got to a boss I couldn't beat, and I can't wait to see how you do when you get to that part. Oh. Duh. Also, MW Soldier just, uh, oh, he's got it. Oh, wait. Oh, he, there you go. They got it. You, you're, you're covered. There you go, buddy. Thanks, man. Wow. All right, I'll just take one. That's very sweet of you. Okay, hang on. You said for you and Turdy, so I'll take that as well. And what do you got in here? Okay. Do you want purple acid boots? You're literally clothing. But thank you. That's very sweet of you. I want some cards. I feel like I got some more for you. Do, do, you, do you want it? Well, I've been practicing a little magic trick. You remember I gave you a hammer and exchanged those four cards. Well, turns out I need a few more, you know. So here's what we're gonna do. You bring me six new cards. This motherfucker talks for about five minutes straight. Cards, all right? Six new cards, and I'll give you a really good tip. I found out that inmates love music. Glad assassin, you were doing a really long message there. Holy shit. Uh, da, 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 da. So aside from the very silly attempt to show me what I did wrong, which is something I'd already done, but thanks for the input. Any other solutions? The mic is working on literally every other thing, including other recording programs. The reason I had to switch to OBS for what I was doing is because the way the uh, recorders were hooking into the game caused graphical glitches. Yep, weird. When the programs were off, no problem. Um... Cloud of the Assassin, you can just do what I do. I don't even record from OBS with my mic. I just use friggin' Audacity. Or Odyssey, whatever you want to pronounce it as. Bam, right here. I always just record this while recording an OBS with... An OBS is not recording my mic. You just... Always, this is what you do. Alright, check this out. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna be like... Alright, yeah, I got my fucking shit started. Alright, I'm gonna open up OBS. Oh, pretend, pretend this 6 is OBS's start uh, recording button. Alright, I'm gonna start recording. 3, 2, 1, go! And then I'm starting recording. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna sync up the audio. So I'm gonna move the track separately when I do this. So I gotta make sure I have a visual on my screen when I do this. Alright, so I'm gonna click on the side of this bar now. And then I'm gonna click over here now. And then BAM! Line those audios up, you're good to go, man. That's all you need. Don't have to record your audio of your mic with OBS. Kind of random, but here you go. I'm serious. I've been looking around gathering these little FM radios, and every time I turn them on, everyone just comes running at them. <laughs> it's hilarious. You know, you throw it over here, they come a running. You should try it. Shall you bring me those six cards? And I just. Is OBS 32 or 64? Uh, b b b b b b b I'm not too sure what the fuck OBS Studio I'm using right now. I think it's 64. I have no idea. I might give you one of them little FM radios for you to play with your little friends with. I have. I wanted to thank you because your old LP of Crowd Sisters has inspired me to start watching it. Play the whole damn game and continue watching LP again. Great game, great times. Thank you for that. Man, cryostasis. That was an oldie right there. Holy shit. I did a lot of experimentation back in those days with the, uh, the More to Comes. I even did an animation for it. I did an animation for More to Come. Let me, let me show you. I did a lot of weird shit. I think around that time was when I started doing individual More to Comes. 
But when I was too lazy to do one, I always used the same animation I made. So let's see. Cryostasis, cryotic part. I'm going to say six. Okay. Wow, this is back when I used a different format for these videos, too. Like, well, this is the name of the format, so that's, that's, that's weird. Let's see here. Ooh. Fuck! I fell into the here dead it is. guy. I made this. I have those available. Oh well, isn't that a surprise? You actually did it. I wasn't expecting you to do it twice. I asked you for cards twice, and you actually brought me cards twice. You're a good guy, you know. I've been working down here for a very long time, you know. How long have I been streaming on Twitch? I've been streaming for... Five years? I don't really know. I don't know anymore. I think it's like four and a half. I'd say. Something like that. Something like that. 2011 was a spooky year on your channel. Yeah. I had a lot of freaking spooky games I had to play, dude. It was all just a bunch of spooky stuff. I never really thought I'd play anything non-spooky at that point, so I just did a bunch of spooky stuff. It was all spooky. I really have, really have to try hard to remember how my life was before this endless maze of metal and dirt. But I sure am happy I met it. Yeah, this is Vegas Pro 13. A new friend, you know? Damn. Want to meet my new friend? Look. Oh, I thought you meant me. Hey. I get you misunderstood. I could have called him Tintle, but sound Would you do the System Shock 1 remake when it comes out? I not too sure. I would definitely look into it though. It looks very cool. Sounds like a fair name and well, I don't have one I have a fa Have a good one, Chinooska. Fairy turtle. Well that would just be stupid. Uh last question and comment before I head off on my way and be more of an idiot. What do you think of doing next on the channel since you're not enjoying Underhell anymore? If you ever did. Thanks, and have a nice night. Meh. Meh. I found Cry way back when I thought I would create an Amnesia custom story. Watch his videos to see other custom stories to learn from them, since I was too wimpy to play them myself. Stuck around a little bit before his black and white series started. Oh, man. Oh, man. Shit. I remember those days. God damn, Cal. Fuck. Was he that played Math Father? How many years? Yeah, I did. That was a long time ago, but yeah, I played Math Father. I mean, a bunch of other people did too, but still. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. I'm oh shit. Google. Google, you're 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 in you're in the schoolings. That's just expensive, son. What you doing? Well, actually, it might not be too expensive. I don't know. It might be different where you live, but. Around here, that shit's expensive, man. You're supposed to save money for ramen noodles. Thank you very much, though, man. Appreciate that. It means a lot. I'm glad I can count on See, a lot of people say that shit, but when you get old fucking nods of the head from an old-time viewer like Google, man, that, that, that feels good. On you to find my cards. Many thanks. Now, here's that little radio I promised you. It's in that box over there. Is TV stream just a rerun since Cry's also there? I'm pretty sure he's just on a playlist right now. Thanks, man. You the best. Carry it around with you, and when you press a red button, it will turn on and off. But listen, when you do it, you better get out of the way, because everyone who can hear will come down and run and dance to that music. Yep. I still haven't been able to nail that magic trick. I always mix up the numbers. I, I never know if it's 11 cards or 21, because you can see 21 is in blackjack, you know. How smoothly does DS3 run on you for your PC running my shit on a 970? Hope it does the job. It runs 100% smooth. Then again, my PC is fucking ridiculously overpowered, so... I don't really know, but... Yeah. It runs really good. Outside of the, uh... Pre-patched place right now, but... Yeah.
there's a part in there which on any computer runs bad. But yeah, it's 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 good. Also, by the way, apparently, according to sources, I can now show anything I want of Dark Souls 3. I didn't realize that. Do you ever have a known problem hearing your own voice while editing? Always wanted to make a YouTube channel, but hate hearing my voice. I've been doing this shit for so long. If I still had a problem, it'd be an issue. But I mean, like, of course, at the very, very beginning, it's like, eh. But I always spent a lot of time before I even got into recording videos that just like recording myself in a voiceover program, just listening to myself and how I sound to be like, oh man, I sound stupid. It sounds great. That's cool now. Like shit like that, you know? And Mike uh, picks up the frequency of it there. I have a problem. Just remind yourself when you yourself said how great of a mod uh, give a game this is, but it's me, it's your choice. Reminding yourself is one thing, but that's just blatantly ignoring the facts. Like, you can blatantly say to yourself, Yeah, I said this was a great thing one time. This must be good. However, you can't ignore the facts, and I'm just genuinely not enjoying myself. You know, there's just, it's, it's actual fact. You can't just deny fact, you know? It's like, it just it doesn't work that way. Like, you just can't. You just can't. Like, if I'm not enjoying myself, that's fact that I'm not enjoying myself. You'd be lying to yourself otherwise, you know? For today. Oh boy, I always wanted to say that. I mean, I would have been a good salesman, don't you think? So yeah, you bring me ten more cards. That's right, you, you heard right. You bring me ten more cards, and I'll give you a little something I've been working on here. I've been working on these little FM radios. Well, you know, I'm a bit of a I can't do that just merch. A resident expert when it comes to food trackers. Well I well I found a way to attach a few of them. Well well let's just we'll just call them fire trackers on them radios. And well basically, once you turn it on, if you touch that thing or you disturb that damn thing, those fire crackers go boom! <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh man, it'll serve hell, scare them off. So you probably know what I'm gonna say. Motherfucking Death Song X3. All the oldies coming out today. Jesus. Thank you very much, man. You better be making some more jams. I need some more music for my library. As big as it is, I still need some more of yours. No offense. It's just, you make some good shit. It's highly appreciated, man. Thank you very much, buddy. You bring me ten cards. I'll let you have a few of them radio crackers, all right? Okay. I just realized it's probably because my inventory's full. I actually... You know, most people can't stop smoking. I mean, that's what they all say. It's like a drug or something. They just can't quit. Me? I don't smoke because I'm addicted. I smoke because I like to smoke. It's just like eating chocolate. It's a treat. Yep. I agree. So I was walking around the residential area the other day, you know, trying to find some smokes and stuff. There's always a lot of good 
some stuff in there. What? When this herd of crazy people started running after me. I mean, damn, they were pissed at me for taking some stuff, I guess. Gee. But you see, I only take stuff that is like left behind. I'm not going to open your drawers and search in your things to take your well-earned money. I'm not a thief. But sometimes I just walk around and I see a pack of gum lying on the table. Oh, don't mind me. I wasn't talking or anything. <sighs> now I gotta record the audio bit where I have to be like, hey, I'm done. I'm out. I'm dipping. I just don't want to do this anymore. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dip. You can have my safe file and other shit. I gotta record that now. <sighs> this is gonna be great. So give me a second while I record this, and then I gotta edit the audio, of course, but... Yep. Okay. Okay, so this is, uh, this is happening now. Um, I, uh, didn't want to have to do this. However, I got, I, yep. Yeah. So, I don't know if you realize this, but I, uh, I, I, I got, I, I played this a long time ago, uh, been a few years, and I quit at a certain point, and I'm gonna quit again. Yep, I gotta, I, I, I just, I, I really, I just, I'm just not enjoying myself. I'm genuinely not having a, a good time. Like, that's how that, that one song by Queen goes, having a good time, having a good, I'm not, I'm, I'm not. I'm, that's what you're supposed to do when you make content. I'm just, it's not, it's not, it's not you, it's me. It's that one, it's that kind of thing, you know? Like, the game itself, it's fine. It's a fine game. It's, I see a lot of work's been put into it. It's just, I can't get into it right now. My mindset's not there. It apparently it wasn't there two years ago. And it's, it's still not there now. I mean, maybe it's the Source Engine. Maybe I got a thing against the Source Engine where I'm just like, yeah, free Source Engines. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, if it's got a, it's got the fucking great blend of the, the the combat stuff, and it's got a great blend of a bunch of characters that seem memorable and stuff. But I just can't get into it. I genuinely, I, I just can't. And I'm, I feel like a shitlord saying this, but I, I, I just wanna, I just wanna, just if I keep going on, I'm gonna end up being like condescending and downplaying things and seeming uninterested, and that's insulting to the creators of the actual game itself. That's fucked. And I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be that kind of guy. I don't want to put them down. I don't want to do that at all. So I'm just going to have to call it here. I, I just can't though. Like the whole, the whole thing I've ever done in this channel is supposed to be do something and have fun doing it. If you're not having fun, get drunk and finish shit or fucking like bite the bullet and do like a stream of it or something like that. I don't know. But apparently there's like, 10 more hours of under hell, I guess. And I don't know if I if I can uh if I could if I can handle that to be honest. Like I I just can't, you know? I I can't find the passion for it. So yeah. I know this is going to be disappointing a lot of people. I'm sorry. But I I just I'm I want to be honest with you. That's it's just not what I want to be doing right now. And apparently, that's just how that goes. Cause, uh, yeah. So, uh, 
now that I'm done shitting on people's dreams, uh, if you would like to continue where I left off, this game is entirely free. You just need the Source Engine, which you can download on Steam. I'll be uploading my save file so you can start off where I left off. If you really want to see where where it's going, you can experience it yourself. It it's a free game, for for Christ's sakes. It can run on plenty of older computers, and if not, I'll even link some playthroughs. I'm sure there's plenty of playthroughs on YouTube. I will link some of those too. But I just I I I'm done. I I would like to uh, do something else. I guess I don't know. Just something that gets me excited when I sit down and actually get to it. Not something I procrastinate for three hours before getting to, and then I end up staying up way too late because I got to editing a lot later than I normally should. So it's it's I feel like I'm breaking up with someone right now. This is weird, but. Yeah, that's uh, that's how that is. Uh, that was a very long-winded message. I'm sorry. It's, yep. Anyway, uh, yeah. Hopefully you don't hate me uh, too much, and if you do, um, I have 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 a good time with uh, that. Then, yeah, yeah. I'll I'm gonna go now and see about having. Uh, a different outlook on video game life. Yep, that sounds like a good call. Anyway, this uh, this has been take two of Underhill. Again, it was a failure. God damn it. Okay, signing off. Have a fucking Christ. Have a good. Have a have a. Bye. But just take care, guys. I'm sorry. God damn. God damn. <sighs> All right. Hopefully I got the message across. Hopefully I did. Now I gotta listen back to it and change things that I don't like. If, if there's things, usually I get it all in one take, but sometimes I'll say something and I'm just like, no, nah, that just doesn't come off how I want it to come off, you know? But we'll see. Had dubstep at the end. <laughs> I see a pack of gum lying on the table. No, don't mind me. I wasn't talking or anything. Okay, so this is uh this is happening now. Um I uh, didn't wanna have to do this. However, I got I yep. So I don't know if you realize this, but I uh I I I got I, I played this a long time ago, uh, been a few years, and I quit at a certain point, and I'm gonna quit again. Yep, I gotta. I I I just I I really I just I'm just not enjoying myself. I'm genuinely not. I might let's say certain point, and. I want to get rid of this part. I'm gonna quit again. That sounds too blunt. It's gonna it's gonna hurt the guy's feelings. I want to come off as light as possible. I just I I really I just I'm just not enjoying myself. I'm genuinely. Yep, I got him. I I I just I I really I. And. I I I just I I really I just. I'm just not enjoying myself. I'm genuinely not having a, a good time. No, don't. I'm not. I want to keep that because this is still a message to the actual developers of themselves too. So this is something I want to make sure that's not gonna make them feel any more down than they're already gonna feel. So, like, that's how that that one song 
my queen goes having a good time, having a good. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm. That's what you're supposed to do when you make content. I'm just. It's not. It's not. It's not you. It's me. It's that one. It's that kind of thing. But if he's here, then he understands my like what I'm trying to say. But he's not here to get my genuine feelings right now of what I'm talking about. So regardless, like even if he is here, he would still understand where I'm coming from. But if he's not here, then he only has this as context, meaning that I gotta make this emulate as much as I feel right now. And you know, like the game itself, it's fine. It's a fine game. It's I see a lot of work's been put into it. It's just. I can't get into it right now. My mindset's not there. It apparently it wasn't there two years ago. And it's, it's still not there now. I mean, maybe it's the Source Engine. Maybe I got a thing against the Source Engine where I'm just like, Yeah, I free Source Engines. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, if, it's, got a, it's got a fucking great blend of the, the, the combat stuff. And it's got a great blend of a bunch of characters that seem memorable and stuff. But I just can't get into it. I genuinely, I, I just can't. And I'm I feel like a shitlord saying this, but I, I, I just wanna I just wanna just if I keep going on, I'm gonna end up being like condescending and downplaying things and seeming uninterested and that's insulting to the creators of the actual game itself. That's fucked. And I don't wanna be that way. I don't wanna be that kind of guy. I don't wanna put them down. I don't wanna do that at all. So I'm just gonna have to call it here. I I I just can't though. Like the whole, the whole thing I've ever done in this channel is supposed to be do something and have fun doing it. If you're not having fun, get drunk and finish shit or fucking like bite the bullet and do like a stream of it or something like that. I don't know. But apparently there's like 10 more hours of under hell, I guess. And I don't know if I, if I can, uh, if I can, if I can handle that, to be honest, like I, I just can't, you know, I, I can't find the passion for it. So, yeah. I know this is going to be disappointing a lot of people, I'm sorry. But, I, I just, I'm, I want to be honest with you. That's, it's just not what I want to be doing right now. And apparently, that's just how that goes. Because, uh, yeah. So, uh, now that I'm done shitting on people's dreams, uh, if you would like to continue where I left off, this game is entirely free. You just need the Source Engine, which you can download on Steam. I'll be uploading my save file so you can start off where I left off. If you really want to see where where it's going, you can experience it yourself. It, it's a free game. I want to take that part out. It sounds condescending to the game. Off where I left off. It, it's a f There we go. Because the way I said that, from their perspective, that could sound like, because I was saying, like, I audibly said, if you really want to experience it yourself, that means that it's making it come off as, if you for some reason want to actually see where this goes, which is fucked. So I'm taking that part out. So you can start off where I left off. It, it's a free game, for, for Christ's sakes. It can run on plenty of older computers. And if not... I'll even link some playthroughs. I'm sure there's plenty of playthroughs on YouTube. I will link some of those too. But I just I I I'm done. I I would like to uh do something else, I guess. I don't know. Just something if I didn't say the really part I could have got then yeah, you're right. But I did because my speech patterns are fucking stupid. <laughs> that gets me excited when I sit down and actually get to it, not something I procrastinate for three hours before getting to and then I end up staying up way too late because I got to editing a lot later than I normally should so it's it's I feel like I'm breaking up with someone right now this is weird but yeah that's uh that's how that is uh, that was a very long-winded message I'm sorry it's, yep anyway uh yeah hopefully you don't hate me uh too much and if you do um i have a, have a, have a good time with uh, that then yeah yeah i'll i'm going to go now and see about having uh a different outlook on video game life yep that sounds like a good call anyway this uh this has been take 
two of Underhill. Again, it was a failure. God damn it. Okay, signing off. Have a fucking Christ. Have a good. Have a have a. Bye. But just take care, guys. I'm sorry. <sighs> a little bit more of a delay there. Otherwise, it sounds like I'm just forcing it. Take care, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Normally I typo it to EDN, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Waking up tomorrow is going to be very interesting to see the comments section. I'll tell you that much. No, EDN's reserved for, you know, lighthearted stuff, but that really wasn't lighthearted. That was, that was me breaking hearts, and I'm not gonna just joke around and put fucking that, you know? Craig's actually reading the chat? Yes. Yes, Craig's actually reading the chat. I talk in third person now. I just got back while I was Craig dropping this. I'm just genuinely not enjoying myself. It's something about the Source Engine, and a mixture of the fact that no matter what, there's always gonna be a problem with the visuals and people always uh, badgering in the comments about numerous things that I can't really control. So it's just it's just an unenjoyable experience. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's the last Underhill, everybody. That's the entire day of Underhill. Oh, rest ye merry gentlemen and something, something, something. Well, tried my best. Rest in peace. I don't even know what part that was. What part was that? You know what, also? This motherfucker. 12 is still too long. You know what, I'm gonna put this to 8. And what is this? In four years, I'll do it again. Yep, pretty much. Voiced on Underhill here, man. From a perspective on the team, it's perfectly fine, man. All good. The rest of the crew is very chill and understanding. If anything, you'd be motivating them to work and makes the next game better. Well, shit. That's something to hear. I mean, really? It's just the source engine, I guess. It's just the source engine so hard to work with, really. I guess. I'm gonna keep saying I guess. Because I just guess. But it's just a lot of issues as a content creator with dealing with the source engine, I suppose. Because with just how lighting goes and how clunky the system can be, regardless of how good you program it, there's always issues. I don't know. It's just, it's rough. I don't know, this was nine? I'm gonna assume it's nine. Was it nine? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it was nine. Whew. Well, that was that. Hang on one second. Uh, one second. Let me make hundred percent sure I got everything. Yep. All right. All right, real nine. There we go. Whew. Well, 
Can we get some Fs for for uh, respect of respect of Underhill? Can can we? I, I'll even do it. I'll even start us off. Thank you. Thank you for all the Fs. Man. <sighs> all right. I, I need to go grab a drink. I, need, I think a drink sounds really good right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm an alcoholic one. Though it sounds like that'd be amazing, but I shouldn't. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go grab a non-alcoholic drink, and I'll pretend it's alcoholic if you want, I guess. And then we'll be back. After a song, I'm sure. Let me go ahead and pull one up really quick. For uh, that. And I don't really know what we're doing right now. Fresh start, yeah. I guess we really got to figure out what the hell we're doing next. That's what we got to figure out. What we're doing next. Like, not like on the stream, but like what playthrough, you know? I got to think of what to do next. Like, we could do... There's, there's, there's options. We got Dark Souls 3. We got Ratchet and Clank, the... PS4 version. Uh, Quantum Break? Is that even out yet? Uh, I mean on the PC at least. So I know it's out on the Xbox. Oh wow, Quantum Break at a 6 out of 10. Um, GameSpot, at least. Oh, it's out now? It's out today? Well, that's an odd timing right there. Windows 10 required. Yeah, I know, and I got Windows 10. Uh, I'll have to check out the reviews for the PC version to see if it's a good port or not. I'll definitely have to check. It's Child of Light? No, that wouldn't work out because I'm already doing an RPG right now. So doing two RPGs side by side is a terrible idea in my personal opinion. At least it doesn't seem like a smart smart decision. You play Titan Souls? Yeah, we actually uh, stream that. Enter the Gungeon? Mm, that's more of a stream game. Is Windows 10 actually good? I personally am not a fan, but I'm sticking with it. So sad to see the video on slow. <laughs> Sorry. No, not Danganronpa, guys. Let's just game reviews. Best games I've ever played were 6 out of 10. Some of the worst I've played were just 9 out of 10. I mean, that's true, but I'm, I'm thinking of it more as like a technical uh, aspect. Like... The story and all that shit could be, you know, whatever. But if it's like if it's not technically sound, like it, like there's technical issues with it, that's a problem. You know. Good night, Junior. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking about the stream right now. I'm talking about next YouTube thing. I, I wouldn't do the typing game for that. Play Tibia, Christ. See, the problem is I can't do Ratchet and Clank until the 14th, I believe. Wait, they sent me an email saying the day. Let me check really quick what day it was.
Uh, let's see here. Okay, I can only I can't do Ratchet and Clank until April eleventh. So that would still be a while. And even then, I um I would probably have to not Dragon Age two. I've done Dragon Age two two or three times over trying to beat it and I just I kept dropping it each time. I think if I did do Ratchet and Clank, I would start recording probably tomorrow night. However, I wouldn't be able to rec do the editing streams because there's an embargo on it. And I would just pretty much just start stockpiling uh, footage, I guess, and just start editing it uh, in my own spare time because I got it. That would give me something to have up while Cheyenne's here, but I wouldn't be able to do editing streams. That kind of sucks. Dustin Elysian Tale. Maybe. I mean, that is one I have been wanting to try. You think people would uh, be down for that? So? Thank you very much, Desla. Tuna Reads is pretty challenging, more than so you would think, because I have to actually find a story, and then when I find the story, I have to email the guy, and 75% uh, of the time, they don't actually email me back. I mean, realistically, I don't actually even have to email them. I can just do it without their permission. But that's not, I don't feel like that's fair to the actual person, because what if they genuinely don't want that kind of stuff, so I wouldn't put it up, regardless. If they, if they didn't want it up, I wouldn't put it up. And if I did put it up and then they contact me saying they don't want it up, then, well, then it's like I'm giving something to people and then I'm taking it away, like, right again. That's not, that's not fun for anybody. So, yeah. Yeah, I did cry senpai. Maybe do an indie game just so you can bridge the gap between now and the embargo? As sketchy, that's how Undertale happened, and that ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I was going to do Undertale until I could play, um... God, what game was it? I don't even remember now. But it ended up taking, like, so long to beat it. Masturbate on cam every day until April 11th, man. That's that's dedication right there. Legend of Grim Rock, oh man. That's that's some old school shit right there. The original Mirror's Edge, it's really short and should be more than two or three videos. I can't do Mirror's Edge. I tried it a long time ago. I get virtual motion sickness pretty badly uh, in games like that. So it wouldn't work out. Get pretty damn dizzy. Already seen gameplay of Quantum Break. Uh, apparently, it took over an hour of actual filmed cutscenes that go on top of the in game cutscenes and it is filled with physics puzzles that break the game flow and it is generally not very engaging. That's not good. Conquer's Bad for a Day. Played that when I was a kid. Xenoblade X? No, that's, that's for After Legend of Dragoon. Virtual motion sickness, that's cool. No, it's not cool. Not at all. I really, really hope it doesn't come into effect when I get the Vive. I really hope not. Abe's Odyssey? I'm not too sure about Abe's Odyssey. They have a lost chapters. I played that way too many times when I was younger. Hmm. Either Dust or Lisa. I think you might want to do Dust, though, because it's not too long of a game. And... It's really lighthearted and friendly. I see. Um. Maybe. 
I've already actually, I, I already beat uh, Super Hot and Dexon. I played in the most spare time. It's really good. Bully, I guess, is also an option too. Maybe I should make a list. Maybe that's a good call. Maybe I should just make a list here. So, Dust, I can't type apparently. And a Legion Tail. I think it's a tail like that. I think that's how they put it. Uh, bully. I guess Lisa. I'm not safe for workish. What is this? What is this? Oh yeah, that shit's fucking weird. I've already done super hot. Are locked. Lucy yes, Christ. Oh yeah, Jack and Daxter, of course. That's actually one of the ones I'm really leaning towards. Wait, no, it's not Jack and Daxter, it's Russian and Clay. My bad. You guys got me confused. Oh, and Dark Souls 3. God damn it. I'm so bad at this. Darkness 2. I do know about Darkness 2. Oh yeah, Ratchet and Clank was the one that we're trying to wait until anyway. And also I spelled Jack wrong, you're right. How about the old Turok? Holy shit. Harvester, we already did Harvester on a stream a long time ago. <laughs> Under hell. Damn, Izzy. Damn. Dying Light? I've already been Dying Light. Hyperlight Drifter, I've watched a bunch of that game from Ross already. When I Chronicles, I, that was actually one of my first PS3 games. I actually didn't like it that much. The combat was pretty meh to me. Siberia, or the Longest Journey first game. We've actually covered both of those on the stream, Mario. Demon Souls, I've already played Demon Souls. My own spare time a long time ago. Final Fantasy 1. Far Cry Primal? Nah, I don't think so. That one doesn't seem too interesting to me. PS2 emulator games? Well, there's plenty of PS2 games. I mean, the options there. Crisis Core. My name is Levi. I've actually already done all of Crisis Core. Uh, I think we're working on getting it brought back to the channel because it got taken down due to copyright issues. But, uh, yeah, we already did the entirety of Crisis Core. Man, I feel so down right now. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I feel sad. Sucks. Uh, Bloodborne, I've already done Bloodborne. I done that on stream, and then I did New Game Plus on my own free time, and then I did New Game Plus Plus and the DLC on stream. But yeah, now that doesn't work out. Beyond Two Souls, I've already done a playthrough of that actually. FDL. Uh, I don't know if that would really translate too well into a series on YouTube. We've I've, we've done some streams of FTL though. Start with alcohol. No man, Sky looks amazing. Probably too open ended for cry LP. Yeah, yeah, probably. Most likely. You need to play something super lighthearted. I bet. I bet that is probably the way to go right now. And. Dust and Legion Tail looks like probably going to be the clear winner here. Here's the question though. How long is it actually? Dust and Legion Tail. How long is it be? Nine and a half hours. It's kind of long, but I mean, that's not, that's an that's an average length of a game. A game generally shoots to be around six to nine ish hours sometimes 13 but generally that's like an average game however that would not be done bef un like I wouldn't finish that then until uh, I would I mean I, w I wouldn't finish that before ratchet and Clank at all God Hand on PS2. I've actually tried to play God Hand before. I, I did recordings of God Hand and it didn't work out too well. I recorded about an hour and a half to two hours of God Hand and I really, really wanted to get into it. But it was genuinely too hard and I kept dying. 
Sucks. Or should I cry? Tale of Two Sons. I've actually played that game already. It should be up on the channel, man. Don't do least. It's seriously fucked up sometimes. You want lighthearted stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we did a Titan Souls playthrough on stream before Paradox. Ever played Slight Looper? Yes, I have. Play Pitfall the Lost Expedition. I know what you're talking about, but I don't know. It never really seemed too interesting to me. Spec Ops the Line, that's a terrible idea. I just can't get into that combat. I get the concept of why it's there, but I just can't do it. Let me let me get out of the creative tag. I feel bad right now being in the creative tag. Uh brainstorming. I don't I don't like taking attention away from other people. I guess I could just put myself to a gaming talk show. No, fuck that. I'll just put myself at not playing anything. I don't need to be listed on the actual Twitch right now. There we go. Okay. I get out of there until we actually figure something out. Has to be a short game. Well, I don't know. Something that I could do, like, within a few videos. Because I really, I'm really kind of leaning towards wanting to do Ratchet and Clank. As odd as that sounds. Can you check Samorost 3 on Steam? Uh... See. It's very weird. Oh, it's a point and click game. This is gonna sound stupid, but I can never get into point and click games. Like, I can watch them, but I can't really play them. As odd as that sounds. If I can watch them like a movie, that's fine. But if I gotta play them, I always feel just stupid, and I hate that. Metroid Prime. I wouldn't say Off is underrated, sir. Off is considered one of the higher tier of indie RPGs that people were going crazy about years ago. It's definitely not underrated in my personal opinion. We've already gone through Harvester Z cookies. Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying point-and-click games are bad. I really am not. I just personally can't get into them if I'm playing them because I always feel stupid. That's all. I'm pretty sure I know what Masao is. Like, I'm 95% sure I know what that is. Those people have been wanting me to play it for a while now. I don't know. I I really think something lighthearted would really help me out. Like, really help me out. Just some, something just chill and having a good time, you know? So, I think, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do, Mm, damn, it's too long though. Fuck. I've already played Transistor Scene Alpha. Alright, how about this?
I wasn't being serious. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a joke stream with that though at one point. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna brainstorm now and then I'll sleep on it before deciding on anything. But yeah. Gone Home? Uh, I've heard meh things about Gone Home. From people I genuinely trust the opinions of. Claymore Hawk and you're, you're slap you around a little bit. Chad's insane, I'll listen to him. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Oh man, I am... Hmm. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, I believe me, Ken, and Pewds played that a long time ago. Never beat it, but we did. To the moon was good, yeah, it was good. Muramasa Rebirth, that is a game I actually do want to try one. Oh god, you know what game I want to fucking do one of these days already? I'm sorry, I'm just reading chat this whole time. I'm in like a weird state of mind. So I'm a little quiet. This is probably not the best streaming entertainment you've ever had in your lives. Apologies. Shadowrun Returns. Yeah, I actually was contemplating doing one of those one of these days too. I, I played the original Shadowrun Returns uh, when it first was re-released. Or I guess the Returns was a release. So when it first came out, I played that. So, that was really good, but that was in my own sp uh, spare time. <laughs> You're used to this. Well, thank you. Huh. <sighs> I keep hearing that King's Quest game is actually pretty good, but I know nothing about King's Quest, to be honest. I've never really played them before. I got, like, no experience with King's Quest. I don't know how that would work out, you know? Pop-up dungeon or some such name? I don't know what the fuck happened to those guys. They just kind of disappeared. 
probably look them up. Well, their page is still there. It's a long time ago. They still do updates. Oh no, they're still doing updates. They just they haven't hit me up in a long time. Maybe they got a new voiceover. That's fine. Hmm. And No Man's Sky is very pretty looking, but it's not coming out for a while. It comes out in June, I think. Oh, thank you, Luxnatic. Torin? I'm not sure what Torin is. the heavens we built a tower and for our pride we were accursed by eternal sunlight time flows no more you moon child are the only one left to climb the tower and save us all alongside the tree of life Grow. Slice the shadows of the black dragon. Thrust your blade. And by each step, the future comes closer. Death is not the end. It's up to you to find our new beginning. Hmm. Mostly positive. Fix the 30 FPS. Well, that's a short game, all right. Hmm. Torn from a Brazilian indie outfit, Sword Tales is at its heart a coming of age tale. Much like Ico and her brothers, a tale of two sons before it, you take on the role of a girl simply known as the Moonchild, whose fate appears to be. To ascend a daunting tower and slay a menacing dragon and in the process learn that the ways of the world are often cruel and spiteful as you depart childhood for a gray and morally ambiguous adult world. You initially start the game as a young toddler who has to learn how to crawl before she can learn to walk and over the course of time it takes to clear the game you will get to watch her grow into the young woman. Much like the beloved Aiko before it, 
You'll need to guide your young protagonist around a large and looming tower littered with an assortment of puzzles. Having said that, this is where all similarities with Ico should end. While Ico was an utter joy to play, that left deep and lasting impressions. Torn is a muddle of ideas, some great, some not, that seem to have been sloppily sewn together. <sighs> Not sure about that one. Yo, she's Wooly World. Did you play Spec Ops The Line? The gameplay is boring, but the story is really good. I couldn't get into it. I gave it a few hours, but the gameplay was just so unenjoyable to me. You ever played the Beginner's Guide? It's worth the play, but honestly, it's most suited to streams or YouTube. Wait, what? It's not the most suited for streams or YouTube, I see. Yeah, I know about it. I haven't played it, though. And yeah, Spec Ops is not lighthearted. Chrono Trigger. Jesus. I'm already doing a classic RPG right now in Legend of Dragoon, though. Ah. <sighs> Didn't know we get an update. That's lighthearted. It is, but it's not on PC yet. It's only for Xbox One. Cam Studio, good god. Apparently that game is not super good. Not even in the honey cam kind of or honey pop kind of way. I'm gonna suggest Dino Crisis like an old school Resident Evil. You know, it's gonna sound weird. I never really liked Resident Evil. At least the old school ones. I always just get so lost, you know? So lost. Trine? That was actually one of my original videos on my channel was a Trine speedrun of a level. I don't know if it's still there anymore. I'm actually kind of curious. No, I took off the video because it had copyrighted music, but <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> this is going to bring me back. Do, 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do That was from 2009. <laughs> Christ. Stalker call up. I actually tried to do a stalker playthrough a long time ago. It was another situation of him just being too hard. Stalker's a hard game. That's a really hard game. It's like during Moonguard days. Yeah? A little bit after. But yeah. Old Cry would make trying videos. Ah. Unravel was a good time. Overwatch 2. <laughs> but Firewatch. I always mix those two up. I don't know why. I, keep, I always call Firewatch Overwatch. Never the other way around, but yeah. How has the viewer count only gone up since I've just been sitting here, like, silently pondering things? I'm not even, I'm not even on a, a category anymore. Weird. Shelter gives that feeling of Firewatch, huh? I see variables. Matt Klaus, both my monitors are at 1080p. Or, I'm sorry, 1920 by 1080. My main monitor is technically a 1980 by 1200. Or 1920 by 1200. Is it 1980? I don't fucking know. Either way, uh, I haven't said to uh, the basic eight, uh, 1080. See, I understand 4K, you know, or get bigger monitors, shit like that, but I feel like once you get, like, that kind of stuff, there's no real going back, and if there's ever a problem with my monitors, then I'll always have to get a big monitor again, and that's always a huge investment, and just... I, I, I'm fine with my smaller monitors, really. The whole, but seriously, the entire chat is 100% behind Duke Nukem forever. Whoa. That's a good call. Hmm. I'll add shelter to the list. I tried to use your name, I've already played To The Moon. You silly Billy. 
No, I don't want to do Dust because it's I'd, it'd take too long to finish it, and I wanted to play Ratchet and Clank as soon as I could. There is also this game right here. Tonight, I tell my own story. Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. As we make our final preparations, we must be extra vigilant. Keep a watchful eye out for our Republic. And in return, she will watch over you. I need your help. I don't have much time. Did you do that? They're right there. How are we stuck in your cage? If the headmaster could see you now. I play you have not doomed us all, child. Don't trust anybody. Not even me. The girl's infected, taking her to recalibration. It is a secret between you and I. They're coming. Let go. Please, stay with me. is this? What do they know about our Republic? There was no need for that. This one, I believe, will go quietly. So is this, yeah. Quite a while ago. I don't really know if it's really that good. It's got an 80 out of 20. Like that, that could be good. But... Hang on a second. Peggy 16. Republic is a campaign-rich experience where players are center stage in a multi-layered political thriller. Republic started off as sort of a nostalgic remix of some of our favorite survival horror games on PlayStation 1. And what it's evolved into is this fearless take on story-driven games that you can't find anywhere else. Republic is about a woman named Hope trapped inside a secret totalitarian nation, and it's your job to help her escape. Republic is not only about immersing the player in a story, it's about making them a central figure in the fiction. The game takes place in a secret country called Metamorphosis. By connecting to Hope's stolen mobile device, players hack into the network of Metamorphosis and guide Hope to freedom. So Hope and the player are going to experience many hardships along the way. But for us, it was really important to always bring it back to Hope, who she is, what's important to her, and who she's becoming along the way. At the heart of the game is the player's relationship with Hope. We've built every encounter and every puzzle around this mechanic. After three years of development, we have readied all five episodes of the game, and we're packaging nope, them together nope, in one epic, nope. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> hmm. 
No, I get all five are finished, but... I don't... The gameplay looks like it's a mobile game. I don't feel like playing a mobile game. Not a mobile game kind of guy. It literally was a mobile game? Oh. <laughs> well, that explains things. Renowned Explorers, did you play that? I played that on my own free time. It's pretty good. Mad Max for your Aussie viewers. Man, I should play Amnesia. Just the original playthrough of Amnesia. It sounds like a great idea for one video. But... Not... Not a whole series. <laughs> The Last Remnant? That's an RPG. I actually liked it though. Do a waste time with amnesia. That would sure be interesting shit. What about trying three? It's pretty short. I hear it wasn't that good. I hear a lot of people are very disappointed with it. Fucking chips challenge. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Yeah, people have suggested Hyperlight Drifter. I'm not really interested in playing it uh, after watching Russ play it. It looks like a fine game and all, though. Enter the Gungeon. I feel like it's more of a stream game than uh, a YouTube game. Murder Soul Suspects. I hear... Yeah, I do hear it is pretty shit myself. Siren Blood Curse. That's actually a game I was going to play a long time ago. That's actually why I bought a capture card in the first place many years ago. Was to record Siren Blood Curse. And I just didn't do it, actually. Then I also heard that it wasn't very good, so... That also was a factor. I've heard of the Crypt of the Necrodancer. I played a little bit. It's, uh... I guess I just don't have the rhythm. <laughs> i just so bad. Animusha, I do want to play that one day, but it's an RPG, so I'm holding off on that one. I think it's an RPG anyway. That's what I figured, Bron, yeah. Thank you, Penguin. Appreciate it, man. Hey, guys, we've been sitting here for 50 minutes just kind of talking. <laughs> what the fuck? 
We really have. Wow. That's weird. Animush is a samurai version of Resident Evil. Oh, I see. I know you're trying to help. I really appreciate that. I do. Blues and Bullets would be perfect. I remember I was looking into that, but I also heard it was episodic, so I was kind of turned off. I was kind of tired of all these episodic games, you know? Like, is all of it out? It looks like all of it's out, I think. No, it's not. There was a game I actually wanted to try. Um, if I can remember how the fuck to find my wish list. Where is my wish list? How the hell do you see your wish list on Steam? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm blind. Don't worry about me. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, Necropolis isn't out yet. Okay. Um. Shit, I think I already bought the game that I was thinking of. Now I gotta see if I can find it in my orders. Amongst all the other random shit I buy. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh. So, I I looked at my total transaction history for my Steam account. I fucked up. Oh my god, that's so many dollars. Don't ever look at your total transaction for your Steam account history. Fuck. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of video games. Oh my god. That's over the course of how many years I've had this account? I don't know if there's a way to see that. But that's over the course of over 10 years, I'm sure. How'd you find that? Just go to your account settings and it should be, uh, or just go to Steam, go to account details and it should be right above your purchase history. But yeah, the thousand dollars on in-game purchases, I don't even know what the fuck that would have been for. Uh, let me see if I can find that game I was wanting to look at though. Oh. No, not that. Um. Oh, 
Which here it is. M Death. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Also, apparently my account, according to Burner, is reaching its 12th year, so that's about a thousand-ish dollars a year. 1,200 a year. Jesus. I mean, I guess realistically, it's not that bad. I mean, I, it could be worse, right? Right. I'm trying to find that goddamn game. I'm gonna find it. Also, I apparently own Lisa. I didn't realize that. Bought it back in October. For three bucks. God, I really want to find that goddamn fucking game I'm thinking about. I don't think I'm going to find it, though. Yeah. Fuck, what was it called? Wow. First try. Never mind. I found it. I was lost. My mind didn't belong to me anymore. Trapped in the tumult of the accident. Where am I? can't do this game. People complain that they can't see anything. Uh, the screen's too dark. Uh. No. No, it can't be. No! I'm right here, in Florida. Where are you? But yeah, I was thinking about that. It has decently positive reviews, I guess. Thumbs up, and then a thumbs down, and then a thumbs down, but then another thumbs up, and then another thumbs up. And uh, apparently isn't too long. It's got great spoops. Even with the thumbs down, it's got great spoops. But apparently has horrible dialogue and terrible grammar in some places with infuriating controls and cheap deaths and a strange save system and a predictable but strange ending. I can't predict it. I have no idea what the prediction of the game would be. So... I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Maybe a little calm, yes. Maybe a little calm, no. I don't know. 
Looks like it could be fun. Looks like it could be shit. I, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Ginger guy. Thank you very much, man. You guys are being really supportive and shit. Like, what the fuck? Stop being so nice. Can't handle this shit. Can't handle this right now. Alright, what is this? It's a VR mystery thriller? I, I don't even have a VR yet. That's Thomas Grip right there. I remember him from back in the Indonesia days. So, that's a game. I think I can get it right now. Wow, even Sweary reviewed this. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh. Now here's my question. Here's my question. Has anyone like Mark or anything played this game yet? Because if I play something like this after them, I'm going to have just a whole bunch of goddamn people in the goddamn comment section. I know, again, it doesn't matter even if they did it yet or not. I'm just thinking like, I don't want to put up with shitty comment sections right now. So no one's played this yet? Could I be the first? Oh my god. Really? Jesse did? Okay. Well, Jesse's like fan base isn't like as crazy and silly as uh, some of the other people's that I worry about playing games before me, so that's fine. Dan Bomb was covering this during their VR launch stream. I see. Okay, that's fine. I'm totally fine with Jesse being before me there, so I could be the first of my group of little YouTube nerds, and then everyone's gonna can be like. You copy cry. I'm like, yes. Even though they didn't. It's jump scarish unless it's vastly different from last April. I mean, I would prefer to play this on VR. I really would. But I don't have my VR right now. Which sucks. Oh. It's only available now for the Samsung Gear VR. I don't know how VR works, so I don't know if you could actually even use this with Vive in the first place. What is the Samsung Gear VR? I know, I have no idea. What is, what is it? Oh, this thing? Oh, okay. Is it good? Oh, it's where you use your phone. Oh, that's kind of weird. That's, that's weird. I mean, hey, if it works, that's cool. But my phone's a piece of shit, so I don't think it would work. How much is this? Is it expensive? A decent amount of stuff. TB likes it. Oh, this is what he uses? This is what he uses on the, um... He mentioned that he used something like this on uh, a plane ride, and it was amazing. So this is what TB used. Okay, I didn't realize this. This is ex what he did use. 
It's a glorified Google Cardboard. 100 bucks? It's only 100 bucks? Hmm. Weird. I mean... Hmm. Only for Samsung phones that fit. Well, I mean, I do have a Samsung phone right next to me right here. I mean, it's terrible. But it's mine. I could be biased since I've used the Oculus a lot, but I think it's terrible and pulled me out of the experience more than anything. I think generally for this kind of thing, though, I wouldn't use this to play games on. I would probably use this just to, like, watch movies like TV said he does with it. What phone do I have? I believe it's an S4, I think. It's been a long time since I've actually updated my phone, though. S5 or higher? Oh, so my S4 doesn't even fit. <laughs> Never mind, then. But yeah, that's kind of neat, I guess. Um, wait, does that mean this game's a phone game? Is that what this is telling me? I don't really care about phones, really. I don't use my phone enough at all to warrant going and getting a bunch of phones whenever a new one comes out. So this game is just pretty much a phone game? Thank you, Scarlet. I'm surprised you got the name Scarlet. Did, is that actually a Scarlet or did you like, is it a capital? How do you, how do you pull this off? How did you do this? Explain yourself, crazy lady. Ah, I see. Wait, no, no, never mind. That is a legitimate L. How did you get the name Scarlet? How'd you pull that off? Jeez. I'm surprised that happened. Also, I called you a lady, and I'm, I don't even know if you actually are. I'm sorry. I'm just used to Scarlet's being females. Well... Congratulations on your name. <laughs> Thank you very much, though. I, I, I appreciate that. Just, uh... Yeah. This, this is a stream right now, I swear. Um... You know what? Is it most of your demographic female? Um... I think so, still? It's been a while since I've checked. But I think it's supposed to be. So, this is going to sound weird, but I think I'm going to play this game for tomorrow night. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Assuming I can actually download this on the PC. Because it says it's coming to Steam soon, but I can check out right now. So this is actually available? On a quantum break it's too long and I'm not sure if it's actually that good. You just made the devs piss their pants. What are they here? <laughs> it is on Steam? It says it's coming to Steam soon though. It's available right now on Steam? Oh, it is. Huh. That's got pretty positive reviews, too. Hey. Thumbs ups all around. Point and click. Oh, no. No. I think you might be lying. I don't think it's really a point and click. 
I don't believe them. Huh. Well, that's neat. Yeah. No, no, it's, I don't think it's really a point and click. One, let's like, well, one of the later things is point and click. It is lyric played. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Ah. Uh, man. Kind of Steam version am I using? This looks. Uh, I use a. Uh, I think it's called like Better Steam or something. Else. Uh, oh, Steam Enhanced, Enhanced Steam, something like that. It'll be fine. Is it? Is it good or is it? Is it bad? Is it good or bad? I'm. I'm fuck it. I'm buying the bull. I'm gonna try it out tomorrow night. Or I guess tonight. I guess is the proper one I wanted to say there. Did I ever get a drink? No, actually, I haven't, and it's been an hour. So, it is a point and click, but I'm just gonna fucking do it anyway. It's short, it's, it's short. And that's exactly what I want, I want a nice short game. And the ratings are positive. Let's just do it, you know? And Thomas Grip even said it was good, right here, see? Look at this, look, look at this. A well-told and creepy mystery. Thomas Script, man. Soma, Amnesia guy, bam. Is there a thing between Cry and Lyric? What do you mean, thing? Like, do we fuck? No, I don't fuck. I've never actually spoken to Lyric before. Do it and do shelter. Yeah, I mean, that's also an option, too. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Dead Secret tomorrow night. Or, tonight. 4, 5, 26, night time. And... If this doesn't work out, I'll do Shelter. And if that doesn't work out, I'm going to be... I'm just going to cry. I'm just going to weep. Weep crocodile tears. And... Then figure something out. But... Hopefully this will eat time out of my my life until I get to the point where I can play Ratchet and Clank on the PS4 because I really want to fucking play that game and I definitely want to play this in the future. Bully, I'm leaning towards maybe. Also, Lisa, I'm leaning towards maybe. Dark Souls Three might not do it now. I might just stick with streaming on that. Odin Sphere definitely gonna do it in the future and that's already on the list. Okay. I think we finally did it, guys. Pornhub has a VR section. Another reason to get the Samsung VR. Well, I'd rather get the Vive, which I'm already getting. So I think I'll wait for the Vive to come out, and then I'll let you. I, I will let you guys know firsthand how that works out. Blues and bullets would be perfect. Here's my problem with blues and bullets. It's episodic. So here's my problem with that: the fact that it's episodic. If I play Blues and Bullets, and I'm not really feeling it too hot, I won't be too excited for the next episode to come out. And when the next episode comes out, and I'm in the middle of another playthrough already, people are going to be hounding me. Yo, dog, Blues and Bullets, next episode without dog. Hey, man, come on, dog. People are still hounding me about Broken Age Act 2. People are still hounding me about uh, D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die. Even though there's no extra episode out, they're still like, yo, dog, when's the next episode, dog? Come on, dog. I'm like, dog, come on. It's just... The fact that it's episodic is frustrating because if I don't like it or if the next episode comes out in a bad time, I'm going to be pressured into doing it in the middle of shit, you know? Walking Dead Michonne, Walking Dead Michonne can suck my balls. It can cradle them, put them in its lips, and just suckle them. 
until it has no saliva left. I have zero interest in playing Walking Dead Michonne. At all. Just none. Zip, zip. Just zip. Tales of the Borderlands. I mean, that's a good one. I liked that one. The problem is, YouTube doesn't like that one, considering almost all of my Tales of the Borderlands videos are taken down. It's fucking stupid as that is. How we go in our locked? Right, can be so vulgar sometimes. Well, the older you get, Unless you stop caring about censoring yourself, I suppose. I mean, I've always been this vulgar, but I mean... I don't know. It's been a let loose, I guess. Put it that way. I did not say that, Nazaki. Could you look at the Shelter's uh, Steam page? Please, I love the game. Alright, yeah. I'll do that. I mean, I've already looked at it before. I looked into the game a long time ago. Yeah, I'll look into it for you. That's the wrong game, actually. Whoops. There's also a shelter, too, by the way. Just so you know. Are you editing? No, we're done with editing. Right now, we're just looking at games. We're pretty much being Dan's Gaming right now. I have no fucking idea what I just watched. Um, yeah. I mean, is it actually good? That seemed really confusing to me. It's like, I have no clue what I just watched. Like, the art style looks pretty. But what the fuck do you do? You just walk around being a badger? Raising a family or something? Family of badgers? I, I don't know, maybe I just don't understand. I, I mean... Fuck is pause. Fuck. A Shelter 2 game. What the fuck kind of name is this? Are you a dog? You have to be a dog in this one? Oh, you're bobcats. Holy shit, Steam. Load. Load it. I gotta watch the bobcats.
I mean, like, maybe this one? I don't know about this one. I don't know. Maybe this one, but this one? Uh, maybe this one? But I don't know about this one. Yeah, but maybe this one. This is not, I don't know about that one. I don't know. Hmm. Uh. What are we brainstorming? What to do since we canceled under hell? Huh. He's looking never alone. Is it on Steam? Oh, this game. Shan wanted to play this with me at one point because it's a local co-op game. Damn, all those negatives. I swear to God, cancel again. You know what? I I I discussed the whole thing plenty of times already. Though I don't know how to explain it anymore right now. Too worn out. It's just so weird. The viewer count has only risen since we just sat here. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It's so weird. I was under hell cancelled. Stuff. Blame the source engine. Moon Hunters. I know what that game is, but I'm forgetting now what it is. I know what this is now. Yeah, this is more of a co-op game.
Hmm. It gets you obsessed with triangle. Nice being all cute chat again. I keep hearing Lee eat. What is this? All right, trailer, sell me on it. Oh, God, I can't. The, the editor just made it worse. The, whoever edited that video doesn't have much experience editing trailers. Uh, the lie eating dragon and a, the Azur Dreamer. Uh huh. I mean, the art's nice. But, I just... I don't jack off the lollies, you know? Play Ratchet and Clank, please. That's the plan. I'm just trying to think of something before... Then, because I can't play yet, you know? Can you do a let's play with an Etchy VN? Nah. Nah. That's pandering so fucking hard. I like RPG Maker games and things like that because they're actually still a game. A VN is literally just, you're pretty much reading a book with visuals and some music every once in a while. And an etchy VN is literally just like, hey guys, you want to see some titties every once in a while? Check this shit out. That's just clickbaity at that point. I do know what enslaved is. I actually think I own it. What about Blank Dream? Is that on Steam? Is that a Steam thing? Hopefully it's a Steam thing. It's not a Steam thing. I'm gonna assume it's some kind of RPG thing. Probably.
Uh, huh. Wishing that she had never existed, Mishiro Usi threw herself into the lake. When she came to, she was in the mirror world, a place neither heaven nor hell. There her reflection instructed her, find the mirrors in this world and break them. Huh. How long? That looks long. That's a fucking... That looks long and that's abridged. No, the new To The Moon isn't out yet, no. If it was, I would have gone on that by now. Markiplier played this a few months back. Huh. Oh, shit. Yeah, I looked at Moon Hunter's Blue Robin. It's more of a co-op game, though. Actually, it's odd that you mentioned that, Rika. I actually bought sticks. Uh, recently because I saw someone streaming it and it looked really fun and I think I want to do a playthrough of this one of these days Peggy 16 I remember when I was born in a dried up lake bed it was a big dead tree dozens of my kind crawling around like rats no, I wasn't like them <laughs> I was a rat of another kind. My vision blurred. I don't know what happened before that. I could remember only one thing. A name. Sticks. It was the only thing I could think of. I often dream of this place at night. Well, it's more like a nightmare. I see myself. And I am... everywhere. Now this guy knows how to make a fucking trailer for a game. Jesus, that was really good. That was like one of the best trailers I've seen in a while. And only a minute long, also? Shit. That was really cool. Yeah, that's something I actually really wanted to play. Positive. 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 Good. Passed my test of all positives, and it's also very positive. No Metacritic score, it seems. Hmm. Some people are yelling, don't do it. This game is terrible. Ah, uh, shit. It doesn't release till 2015, or 2014. Yeah, I guess you're right. Game is terrible. I've tried it. It becomes terrible. Hmm. Well, see, the thing is, I've, I've looked up gameplay. Gameplay seemed okay. Clunky controls and clunky mechanics. Darn. Sorry about my uncle. Yeah, I know about that game too. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe? That one's been around, like... Around the block. Because I know I've seen so many videos of people just doing this. <laughs> maybe I'll watch the video, why not? 
I know about Soundless Sea. Can I get rid of that bar? Go away, bar. I told her that he was my uncle. And that I was looking for him. This is going to be a challenge. Yeah, like everyone and their fucking mom played this game already. Fred had come this way alone, too. If he could do it, I could do it, too. Someone was mentioning a game called like Obstructed, but I guess I don't remember what they were actually saying. Or something like that. I don't remember what the hell it was called. That's okay. Uh, extremely deemable. Just, the engine itself just made it unfun. I couldn't fix this lighting issues and everyone kept giving me shit about it. Just frustrating every day. And, uh, this, the game itself was just kind of, it's not what I want right now, you know? Yeah, 1,700 people right now. I don't fucking get it. Klonoa, I'm going to be doing Ratchet and Clank, so. Doing Klonoa would be kind of silly. FIFA 2007, 20, 2006, yeah, that, that would work. Yeah, totally. Genius idea. <sighs> ah, magic circle? I feel like I know what that is. Apparently I own it. What is this? Why do I own this? Humble bundle, I think. Now, what is this game? My name is Ishmael Gilder. I am the writer, director, and leading actor of The Magic Circle, a state-of-the-art 4D graphical reimagining of the hit text adventure that launched my career. For 20 years since then, they've told me it's good enough. But I knew better. And at last, it is worthy of you. Wow. Trailers are just lies set to music, boss. That lie was so big it was almost art. None of that stuff works. He's never gonna call it done. That's why I need you to help me finish it. We'll trap his creations, tear the powers out of them, and stitch them back together your way. Help 
me shift this thing or cancel it. I'm fucking sold. Holy shit. Dude, that was that was really cool actually. Yeah, um I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, I uh <laughs> fuck it, that's what we're playing tomorrow night. <laughs> that looks fun. Yeah. I uh Yeah. I, uh... Play the demo. Why? I own it already. I got it from the Humble Bundle. Yeah. Alright, good. Got a game. <laughs> no, I'm not doing the demo right now. I want the video to be the first impressions. Yeah, that looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Cool. Neat. I'm I'm down. Let me let me install this. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. Play now. There we go. You did what you had to do. It's done. Wait, do I? Yeah, sure. You're good. All right. Do you record videos for YouTube right before editing streams, or do you more towards when you wake up? Right, right before the streams. All right, cool. Well, we did it, guys. It only took us an hour and 43 minutes, 44 minutes. But we fucking did it. Good. Good job, us. Round of applause, everyone. Can we get, can we get a round of applause for all of us working together? I really appreciate the support. You guys, uh, you guys are great. <sighs> cool beans. <sighs> you guys are great. All right, guys. So. I know this is kind of a fuck up, fucked up move, but I think I want to end it here because I have been procrastinating getting shit sent over to my tax guy for like a month. And I think I should just take this time to just go get my shit sent over so I don't get in trouble with my taxes. <laughs> so I should go do Because I literally, I, what I've been doing lately is just, I wake up, I stream, I have like an, an hour to myself to do something, and then I go record, then I stream some more. You know, I barely have any time to do anything. So, I'm going to go and take these few extra minutes here, and I'm going to actually go get that done. <laughs> um, Let me go ahead and find somebody for you guys to go hang out with if you'd like. I'm sure there's someone that's cool and stuff that's around, maybe, I hope, I hope anyway, if not, then that's fucked up. Oh, there's somebody playing Adrift right now with the VR? Oh, it's Rocket Beans, I'm sorry, that. I don't think everyone here speaks German, so I don't know if that'll work out so well. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the creative tag. That's what we should do. We're going to go to the creative tag. Let's see what we can find. Not the food channel, by the way. Probably not the best call. I speak German. I do not speak German, no. I can pretend I do. Ein, zwei, drei. Did that, does that work? Hopefully that worked. Um... Hmm. A lot of people doing the doodles. Nothing really like too crazy outside of just doodling on the uh, creative tag right now. Hmm. Hmm. 
Ooh. Is that? Is that amnesia? No, it's a Unity engine. Hey, some of guys actually making a fucking game. Let's go check him out. Let's go do that, guys. I'll see you guys later also, by the way. Again, thanks for stopping by, but I gotta get out of here. So y'all have a good night and day. And I'll see you another time. Have a good one, guys. And thank you. You guys are great tonight.